As long as you get it, because I'm not... I really don't need you guys snitching, okay? Dungeons of Dreadmore. It's been quite some time. I'm going to be reading descriptions, okay? So get ready for some fucking... Get ready, okay? This is gonna be, this is gonna be a lot of reading. So I think the game's writing in this is really fun. I forgot about the eyebrows. They could beat you up. They could take you down. So easily. New game. There's some things we have to decide. Permadeath, of course. No time to grind. Technically, this is worth enabling because I'm on a stream and this game can actually run really long. But I'm not going to enable it right now. And I am going to enable going rogue because I'm not a pussy. It's been a long time since I played those, so odds are they're gonna kill me really bad unless my build is really good. And since we're doing random build, uh, anything could happen. Now, there are a lot of subclasses in this game. Chat. There are some normal ones, like this guy is a master at defensive maneuvers. That's good. Uh, I have also, like, you know, B guy. <laughs> There's also Galactic Bee Herder. The strong-willed choose to herd ravenous intergalactic beasts without name. You, you herd bees. There's some... You can pick seven. Basically, how the class system in this game works on new characters is you pick seven builds, seven subclasses, and then you go in. Now, I've established a rule for my characters, and it is that I am allowed to randomize three times, and at the third randomization, no matter what, I must use it, okay? So by the third roll of the random thing, which will apply seven random subclasses to my character, I must use it. So I have three options, I have three options, and I can't go back, okay? So I either choose and commit, or I roll the dice once more and hope I get something better. All right, I've rolled one time. It glitches out a little bit here because we've got mods on, but uh, it fixes itself. We go to the bottom, somewhat. Don't worry. I can I can see what they are. It's just because we have mods in it, and when you add more subclasses, it glitches out the feed a little bit when you're starting. So we have a specialization in daggers. They aren't just small swords anymore. Assassination, which is good. That's actually pretty good. That's good. That's a good. That's a good fucking. That's a good hand. Already, you deal critical blows to monsters more often. Demonologist, the Church of Demonology is an anvil that has worn out many hammers. Will you take up the path of righteousness, or will you be worn out? We also have Battle Geology. Like all geologists, you can create earthquakes, armor yourself in stone, and petrify in enemies. Okay, so far this is actually pretty good. We have Thaumite Mary, a swarm of Thaumites call your body home. Thaumite in this game is fucked, and I'm just scared that I will instantly die. Uh, to using using any of the abilities uh, with Thaumite, because this game... Thaumite is, like, super poison. It's, like, toxic in Pokemon. Okay? It's, like, toxic on crack in Pokemon. Okay? You'll, you'll be, like... You'll get Thaumite and instantly die, especially on the hardest difficulty. Your character will explode into, like, blood and guts. Uh, Poisoneer. Wow, this is actually a really good build. <laughs> So we got daggers, assassin, and poison. You can infect your enemies with variant poisons in a variety of manners. And thaumite. This build is fucking spicy. That's a lot of dot damage. And silver tongue. Talking well enough to convince even arch diggles to pay attention just kind of comes naturally to you. I sort of like this. I think this is it. Guys. Because, like, we could have gotten eight crafting trees. You know, we could have gotten a string of seven different crafting abilities and not be able to play the game. So, like, random doesn't just give you weighted options. It gives you random. This is a good build. I'm going to take it. We're going with it. My name will be Dumpto. My name will be Dumpto. In ages long past, great heroes bound the dark Lord Dreadmore in the depths of the earth, that his evil would trouble the land nevermore. Alas, the foul lich Dreadmore proved most devious and patient, 
for he has been loosening his magical bonds, slowly freeing himself to again spread his evil in the world of light. He must be stopped again. Once more, it is time. It is a time of adventure, of glory. It is the time for a hero. Unfortunately, this hero is you. You have been summoned by the king to prove yourself, to save the land and its people, to join the heroes of legend in victory over the dungeons of Dreadmoor. If I see one enemy that isn't a diggle when I open this door, my character is dead and I've lost because we are on going rogue. Just be aware, if anything is on, if, if anything is on the, is in the room with me when I start and it's not a normal entry level diggle, I'm dead. At like level one, I, I'm dead. Let's go. It's a ghost town, which is good. All right, let's get associated with our characters. Let me uh, blow up this screen a little bit. Okay, so we have we have a couple of starting skills on our character, Dumpto. Let me just blow up some of the UI, since this game has a small fucking UI, naturally. All right, so we start with actually a lot of abilities on this character. Luchnauer's uh, switcheroo. Pull the old umkrung on, what, <laughs> on an adjacent opponent, switching place with them while sneaking in an extra dagger attack. That's pretty good. All right, so we've got like a fucking swap move. We also have turn demon. Uh, we can we can make demons run away from us. Also good. Plutonic fist. You cannot will transform your hand slash noodly appendage of a creature, including yourself if thus inclined, into stone, such as that cured deep in the earth's earthy heart. Melee power is improved at the cost of combat skill and finesse. Hit smart like rock. I see, I see, I see, I see. Hit smart like rock. Hit smart like rock. Nanite sweats. You appear to be leaking thaumites on the ground below you. Hope nothing steps on it. This will literally kill me. This is like actually how my character dies. I will never use this move. Because I, I dump instant kill poison on the ground where I'm standing, and if I stand in it for one turn, I'll die. Basic poison. You can activate. You can actively poison your enemies with something mysterious that never manages to show up in your inventory or be used in any for any other purpose. The poison in question remains on your blade for a few turns thereafter as well. And then we have Dwarven Inspirational Speech, which we can use every 12, 24 turns. You deliver a Dwarven Inspirational Speech, the kind that puts everything but dwarves into a deep, lasting slumber. You might even bore some minor enemies to death. Very good. Now there's a couple things I want to set up. Uh, combat, move, and use, and auto loot. And I just want to configure auto loot really quick so that we are picking up all, uh, reagents, food, crap like that. Looking good. Okay. Everything else we pick up naturally. Let's take a look around the dungeon. We're in an empty room with nothing but food, a food store, which sells lemons, cheese rounds, fish stews, Goldfish, I already I brought mine uh, with me actually on the adventure. He's my close friend. He's in a bowl currently. The sacred fish made of edible gold. Never mind, this is actually just golden fish. If that doesn't make any sense, uh, don't show it to the fish paladins. Okay. And then we have Drank. And inside the Drank case is small lockpicks. No matter. Let's take a look at my inventory. We have a poison stiletto, which is actually pretty decent. That's a four star item, which means I already have an item equipped. Shiv, yeah, we're taking that off. We're taking off the stiletto and putting on the poison one. We can't dual wield without proficiency in it, so we don't dual wield. Just so you guys are aware, we will lose. We sort of lose stats on that. Let me blow up some of these other UI elements so that I can see things easier when I'm in my UI. And we have a leather cap. Hang on, what's my... I gotta get used to the controls again. Put on the leather cap. As it's a normal cap fit for the foulest peasant. Behind this door, chat, could be... A diggle. Now, I want to tell you flat out, honestly, that I will fucking immediately kill diggles on sight. They have to die. Okay? They yell some real toxic shit at you in this game. <laughs> Let's take a look around. A trap on the ground, I deactivate it. It gives me six XP. There's plenty of potions in the game, but they don't always tell you what they do. Aqua Regia, also known as the Alchemist's Friend. 
It'll do considerably more than rot your teeth if you drink it. Okay, so don't actually drink this. We have a chest with lockpicks in it. I need these. More traps we can disable. And an Amazonian bumblebee person, our first enemy in the dungeon. Contrary to popular belief, not all Amazonian bumblebee people are women. It's just that male bee people are also exceedingly pretty with very long hair. This monster has not noticed your presence. They are asleep. Yes. And let's keep it that way and not alert them just yet. Is that B. Arthur? They do not know I'm here, but that's the legendary heroine. B. Arthur. We have, we're immediately running into a boss fight. Well, a mini boss. With a long and distinguished career, this monster has not noticed your presence. Okay. They'll wake up. This one will wake up the second I aggro that one. So I'm going to have to take him down. We're going to sneak up on them. We're going to take this person down with a poison slam. Okay, they have received poison. Never mind, it had no effect on them. I mean, on me. We're killing them. Not a problem. Let's turn up the game a little bit. Not a problem, we can handle this. Remember, we're playing on Going Rogue, so I have to be careful and not walk into stuff that immediately disables all of my magic. But good news is, I don't use magic. So it's fine, who cares? Practice foil. That's garbage, we don't need it. Let's break this statue of ah, Dreadmore, which will get me XP for destroying, vandalizing his property. I hate that guy. Drink from the potion immediately. Your body got a little moister. We have received medium regeneration. Now's the time to fight the boss. Let's go after him. Kill him right now. We have medium regeneration. First of all, activate the switcheroo move. Hang on, I have to be next to them to use that. Activate plutonic fist. We'll do even more damage now. When they get to, get to us. Now activate. The Dwarven Speech put them asleep, which will give me a free hit with my basic poison move. Stab them, switcheroo them. Cha! Easy piece of cake. You just have to, chat, you just gotta be, you just gotta fucking know the moves. You just gotta know the moves and that gets us to level up within the first room of the game. Piece of cake, like it's nothing. And now this is when the game gets ridiculous is that all of these fucking trees have a you know, a bunch of moves and we have to decide what's actually important. Oh, I actually have a move that wasn't listed. Some of them are passive, so you have to check them later. So this is Blackjack uh, in the assassination tree. You filled one of your socks with a lead shot and can use it to whack bad guys over the head, leaving them stunned by your foot odor. This ability is automatically used when the opportunity presents itself. That's good. Automatic abilities are always nice. Uh, we can move. This gives us some stats for dodge if we take slim customer. Uh, I'm just sort of eyeballing, I'm just sort of eyeballing stuff. Neurotoxin uh, works when your weapon bites deep into enemy flesh, but when it is effective, it's nasty, adding physical stat debuff and stress and stunning an enemy for a few turns. We sort of want dots, but I also sort of want to be, uh, a, I also sort of like charisma. I could take iron eyes. You're a professional at scaring the crap out of your enemies in combat. This makes them less able to defend them well themselves, as well as crapless. Okay, that sounds pretty good. We could take something, we could take, we continue going into, going into coercion, coerce the enemies into not wanting to fight us. This is an AoE stun if we get deep into geomancy as well. Mm, there's so many options, there's so many options. I sort of like, oh no. Guys, here's the thing though. If I go into the Thaumite tree, I can project Thaumite at enemies and get them covered in nanites, nano machines, basically, that'll rip them apart. 45 per turn, we can do it once per 45 turns. Thaumites did nothing for your seasonal allergies except turn them into a horrifying offensive tool. I'm taking it, fuck it. So let's just cast this in the area in front of me. Oh, it's just an AOE. Okay, that's way better than Thaumite nanite sweats. I don't, yeah, I definitely don't want to use this. Nanite sweats, I need to take it off of my bar. We need to get this off of my bar. Just take it off of the bar. Like, duplicate it. Just get it off of the bar, because that one will kill me. The other one's just an AoE. It's very, it's very expensive. Every 45 turns, but it'll do a ridiculous amount of damage when we have it. I'm just progressing the turns here by pressing space. All right, let's disable some stuff and take a look around. Pyrite Suns, those are gems. Those are worth taking. We can sell those, even if we don't use them at anything. Here we have a small gummy diggle. 
We can eat that. Almost as good as the real things. We'll take potions. We can throw these at things, I'm pretty sure. To get wacky effects. These are teleporters. This teleported me into a terrible place with a boss right here. That's Siegfried, god of the Diggles. Trapped in Diggle form, he wanders the dungeons looking for revenge. It's peaceful and not attacking me at the moment. But this one is attacking me. This is a Diggle. A strange little bird thing that tunnels through walls with its odd rubbery nasal appliance. A destroyer of worlds. It's trying to kill you. I'm not surprised. I activate my sneeze move. Enjoy Thaumite damage. Look at them. They've become poisoned by the Thaumite. They've got Thaumite flu. This will tear them to shreds in time. We don't have that kind of time. I activate Plutonic Fist on the small one. Actually, that one will die naturally of the flu, I believe. But Siegfried here... Look at how much damage they fucking do, Chad. This is the fucking problem. We have to get rid of the Siegfried. That Diggle dies in another turn. We have to get rid of Siegfried. Siegfried's, Siegfried's double... Siegfried's getting the business, but he's also about to kill me. So we need to finish this now. I have two HP. Get back in the portal. Yeah, this is roguish. This is going rogue. So these guys hit me like fucking trucks, and that's why we gotta be sort of careful. And the only reason I didn't do that before was because that other one was gonna walk right onto the platform if I fucking didn't kill it first. So I had no choice but to fight. Good news is healing in this game is really easy. You just eat some food. And it looks like we actually killed the potato in the other room uh, because of the lingering thaumites in the air. He just died. Or I... Put him to sleep and he actually killed him because he he died of, he died. He died because I, I actually bored him to death, I believe, in the other room by knocking him out. So we got credit for that kill back there. He's dead. He's gone. Natural causes. Let's digest this food, which will fi fill me up the rest of the way. We'll eat another, we'll eat a little bit of Gouda cheese and move on. I don't like teleporters because obviously they hold a risk of you just getting fucked getting caught oh my god lost wizard keys this dimensional key bears a mysterious legend property of sneezy inventor of the self-steering wheelbarrow she sells seashells by the seashore prices so low they're crazy click the dimensional key widget on your status bar to visit your personal pocket dimension and an aetheric power cylinder i see we'll go there in a minute i'm just checking out this lobby Searching the BBQ for food. We got some steak. Water. Water's always good. I'm not taking it, though, because I don't like it. All right. Let's check out my pocket dimension. Chat, welcome to the wizard pocket dimension. Now, in this game, we get graffiti on the walls, which has random... Which has, like, basically, this is our house. We can change it to look however we want. And it will have, basically there will be graffiti, magical graffiti on the walls that will take us to like special magical rifts. All we have to do is put in an address. Like A. And we put in an address like A, it's going to open up a portal. Now, because we don't have a real address, that portal doesn't take us anywhere good. That portal takes us straight to Diggle Hell. That portal takes us to Diggle Hell. The Hell Dimension. That's Hell. You can tell because it's red. If we go in there, the, remember chat, the only thing that goes to hell in this world is Diggles because they fucking deserve it, okay? So we're gonna leave the way we came and not come back there because that's Diggle hell. Only Diggles go to hell, okay? Everyone else gets to move on to a better life. Diggles, however, they go to hell. I tried to disarm a trap because I wanted the XP and I got seriously punished for it. I like disarming traps in the higher difficulties because they're easy XP a lot of the time and mean less things you have to kill. So I, I do try to do it, but sometimes you just get bad fucking odds and you... Looks like I've walked into a Diggle zone. Beware the Diggles, they're not your friend in nature. Sleep! I've sleeped them! Now we do my greatest move, sneeze move. Die. Die of your, die of the Thaumites rushing through your very veins. They're running. 
They're running. They're scared of me. They're dead. The Diggles are dead. We ransack their eggs. Oh, guys, see that? So that's the, that's the worry. When you use the Thaumite moves, when something dies with Thaumites inside of it, even once it's dead, it can explode and release Thaumites. And if those touch me, they will kill me. Now, they don't travel towards me, and they dissipate after a couple of turns. But if I were to walk over it, it would be a bad scene. See, they're gone now. So it's just, you just gotta be careful, because if they do get you, it's a bad, it's a bad, 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 bad scene, you know? Lootfisk, Lootfisk, a traditional Norwegian fish product, was invented by the Vikings as an easier way of instilling fear in their enemies when raiding and pillaging. It is traditionally inflicted upon young Norwegians by their grandparents and is described by one famous author as the world's largest chunk of phlegm. This is a very sought after resource in this game. We're gonna want this. We'll ta we're taking all of it because one day we'll be able to sacrifice this to a god and become very powerful. Now this is an evil magic potato, a giant floating root flapping eye encrusted demonic potato, the horror. This monster has not noticed your presence. It is asleep, big mistake. Poison stab it and finish it off. More XP. And the music's actually pretty loud. I'd like the SFX higher and the music a little bit quieter. As much as I like the music, I want to hear the impact when I kill this little baddie. It's a bad, it flaps. It has teeth. It's trying to kill me. There it is. Hit it with the old Thaumite sneeze. Hit him with the old fucking Thaumite instant kill slam. Okay, this bat's actually kicking my ass. Chat. Right now, this bat here, with the extremely defined ass, actually, you can see it from here, um, is being my ass right now. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and give it the old poison slam. And give it the old- Wow, he is- he is actually fucking- I cannot believe he's- Yeah, we'll just walk away from that. Ah! Oh! Chad, did you see what just hit me? I got hit by AoE of the Thaumite. Just being near it for a second hit me for like six health. This is why Thaumite is scary. It's only a matter of time until they get me. Do you understand? God, look at it. We just can't go near it. Just be- just be- Ow! Okay, I disabled it. We gotta be more careful of traps. I always struggle to watch for those in this fucking game. We keep moving. That's a potion of major healing and a gnome. A tiny elderly man in an enormous hat. This monster is trying to kill you. Knock it unconscious. It resisted it. The gnome did not care. I am going to hit it with the poison. Sink a swear, motherfucker, says the gnome. Yeah. Okay, he was weak. We won. Watch this. I gazed deep into the bucket of truth. And I gained unmitigated truth. What has been seen cannot be unseen. That gave me certain stats, which boosted my visual sight radius. Uh, which means I can see farther into the dungeon. But I've lost, uh, I've lost some stats as well. Specifically, I've lost... Where is this icon? Sometimes it's hard to tell what you're losing because it's hard to see. We, we've gained existential damage. Does it exist or not? We don't know, but your weapon may inflict it on somebody. If they exist. It is not affected by our opponent's armor if it exists. This tooltip is now going to go off and question its existence. Re read Heidegger and weep piteously piteously into a bottle of Dr. Sandin's New Age... Uh, Pilsner. Okay. I don't know how to pronounce that word because I've never had to use it in my whole life. Uh, that's a cave, Raven. It said to like to rap at doors. Uh, but you're skeptical this one could manage a decent rhythm. It's peaceful and not attacking you at the moment. It's coming to get me right now. I'm gonna leave it. I poured the bucket. Look, if you're going to leave a bucket of unmitigated, unadulterated, immutable truth just lying around the dungeon, you're going to have to expect accidents. Okay, well, I- that's not my problem. I am, however, going to kill the bird. There's not really much it can do about that. It's dead. I need the XP chat. It's very important that we farm XP. The bird has to die. Just like this dead bat has to die. Just like this dead evil magic potato has to die. I open the door. And there's a diggle. A sick one. This one has some kind of disease. 
He's not feeling good. And that's good for me. Did I just give him Plutonic Fist? I meant to cast that on myself. I've made that Diggle stronger than God. He's coming for me! Back up, let the Plutonic Fist fall off his body! Pluto let Plutonic Fist yourself too! We're both using Plutonic Fist and it's not deactivated! He hit me so fucking hard! <laughs> ah! Ow! The Dalmite's got him! He was sick already, so his immune system was weak. <laughs> his immune system was weak, so he received an insane amount of damage. He's dead. Don't go near him. He's gonna. He's actually gonna blow up. I gotta get away from him. Ah. Okay. Note to self: Plutonic fist should be on me. Oh my god! He actually gave me the disease. I got the Diggle sickness. He got me sick with Diggle flu. That's fine. That's not a problem. I'm gonna eat this sandwich and digest it until I'm feeling better and the flu will be gone. I'm gonna keep Plutonic Fist on myself. Hi. Fucking die. Fucking die. Another potion and some mushrooms. This is one of those herbal remedies that people try uh, to make themselves bigger. Okay, I'm gonna eat it. Uh, it gives me plumber strength. It makes me stronger. You imbued with brick smashing strength of a plumber. Plumbers hate bricks. Okay. Very good. Let's. We're at a crossroads. See, Chad, I'm always concerned when I open doors because sometimes you can find stuff really fucked up behind doors. But so far, we've been pretty lucky. Give him the old sneeze. Give him the Thaumite sneeze and walk away from them, and the Thaumites will do the rest. Pretty much every time. I need to get into like cooking. I need a cooking recipe crafting thing. They're dead. Chat, they're dead. We didn't make it in time. This is a floor model, actually. It's it's fine. It's fine. This one's not even occupied. This is a floor model. Let me check if there's anything behind the curtains. That's a floor model. I just get shot at? I think I did. It's Prax! He's got a store here. We can finally buy something. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Prax, a villainous sales demon with a terrible checkered suit. He'll sell you equipment that you need for your quest, but he does not take to shoplifters. This monster is trying to kill you. What? No, he's not. Ignore that. He's trying to kill me with bad deals. Okay. He only gets mad if we take stuff without paying or we attack him. And we're not doing that. We're actually going to sell stuff. Here, we're going to sell some of these potions and some of these reagents and gems because we don't need them. Make us a little bit of extra money. And these ingots. $714. That means we can buy a... Never mind, we cannot buy an Anorak, the legendary um, uh, jacket. Keeps you nice and toasty while alphabetizing your extensive collection of celebrity naval lint. I don't want that. But I would like Sapoxaloo, the unavoidable news. Jack, this is one of the strongest rings in the game. Okay. This uncomfortable and rusty square iron ring is made for things more angular than yourself, possibly robots. It is studded with Corbamite. This is one of the most powerful rings in the whole game. Uh, seconded only by uh, ha Hachi Maki. The headband makes it seem like a good idea to destroy common architectural materials with your bare hands. I'm already doing that. We'll be back. We just need to make some more money. Chat, just keep in mind every item I will say is the strongest item in the game. That's a little, that's a blobby. It's a blob of animated slime, possibly from an adventurer's armpit. They have not noticed us. We should try to keep it that way if we know what's good for us. Okay, they've noticed us already. Also half dead. I'm gonna let them approach me so I can give them the worst day of their lives. They're dead, I won. Anti-magic traps. Another anti-magic trap. I wanna get closer to that raven before I start this fight because I wanna wake them both up with the sneeze and then walk away from them. This guy's actually resisting the flu, huh? The game. Why is he saying that? What is, it? is there something wrong with this bat? The game. He whispers in my ear as Thalmites explode out of his very fucking body. I was trying to bait him towards the Thalmites, but he doesn't care. I'm gonna have to take him down. Okay, he actually what? He did not resist the poison at all. He died. Dude, that's fucking scary. You're fucking killing a bat in a game? 
and he just whispers the game to you. The game explodes into fucking thawmites and goop. Well, at least I'm one-shotting enemies now. Certain enemies. Is that a gun? Squareness gun. Excellent for creating makeshift holes in floors and people. Watch out, as the special feature really drains the batteries. We also have some fingerless gloves here, which I'll be equipping, because we have no clothes on. We're basically naked, still. But I will take the gun. The wand will do me well. It's actually a wand, technically, but it is also a gun. What is this? What is this? Remember, the lunchroom is enjoyed by many. Clean up after yourself. A message from Diggle Union 422. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, right. These guys can go to hell. I've leveled up. I think, chat. What the fuck? Guys, this Thaumite thing. Did you know that these things have a self-destruct switch? You do now. I think I want to get this. I think I want to keep building into Thaumite. Field nanosurgeon. Take some of the nanites out of your body and inject them right back into your body for a massive healing boost. Side effects may vary. Okay, well, it's better than nothing. I'm not going to test it. Oh my god. Ch prison diggles. This strange little bird thing tunnels through rocks. This one looks really mad. He's vibrating. He's shaking. His fists are clenched. We're going to not release him. Did he just say something to me? Davidson is in the house. All right, we're getting the hell out of here. The yelling things through the fucking prison walls. Uh, there's an Amazonian bumblebee person. We're gonna kill them. With the old Thaumite attack, they'll die of natural causes. I mean, I can take these diggles if they're one at a time coming out of the door, technically. But let's take a look around to see what else these, these levers would open first. Anyone in here? No, but there is. That's one of the... Chat, that's one of the strongest swords in the game. That's... That's Wentray, the commander of fate. It, it's a wooden sword that's alarmingly undeadly. Can you find anything better? It's studded with white gold. Okay, never mind. <laughs> We're gonna move on past that one. This is a room full of gold. I like that. And a voltaic cell. We can sell that. Disarm the trap. I made a big mistake trying. Chat, here's the thing. Disarming the traps is worth it for the XP you get, but there is an unfortunate side effect of if we activate one. Wait, did Thaumite just, wait a minute. Chat, I think Thaumite cuts through walls. I think it's that, I think the nano machines are that powerful. Hang on, I'm gonna test it again right here. It definitely cut through these walls, didn't it? Am I crazy? It didn't do it that time. Hang on, let me let me give this one more just one more try on this corner here. Yeah, it cuts through some walls. All right, it can melt walls down. There's a rug, and a diggle. This one's sick, probably. Yes, I've lost my way seriously. Well then, let me send you on your final way. I lost my way. I don't know where I am. He was a recovering addict. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care at all. Bookshelves chat. This is how we get the good crafting materials. Flaming skull bomb. Defensive curds. A layer of gooey molten cheese acts to slow incoming attacks. Also, you smell delicious. Okay. And the staff of Peleli. This is one of the most powerful weapons in the whole game because it requires multiple reagents you have to craft. That fucking sucks eggs so bad, but we're okay. All we have to do is fight these. That's a ghost. It's a levitating spellcasting skull. It has melee, it has ranged moves. I'm gonna have to pull out, I'm pulling it out. That's it. I'm gonna shoot the ghost with a gun. I think I blew up the floor. and it fell into the next part of the dungeon. Okay, so that's fine. We're not going that way anyways, but let's just make sure we don't walk into that area. Yeah, wands are pretty spicy in this. Oh, it turned back. Okay, the floor. 
Okay, it's fine. It's normal again. Some more giggles. We'll have to clean these up. Some Amazonian bee persons. I'd like to save my special move then for now. Okay, there's about a billion enemies and the diggles are hitting like fucking trucks. I'm gonna... I'm gonna back it up a little bit. Yeah, I'm in a little bit of danger, but we'll be okay. As long as nothing with a ranged attack hits me. I'm gonna eat some Havarti and back up. What time, enemies? Where the hell did this guy come from? This diggle walked up behind me. He was sneaking up on me, but he got sleepy and fell asleep before he could ambush me. Biggest mistake of his fucking life. He's dead. Another dead diggle added to diggle hell. Don't worry, chat. Some point tonight, I'll take you to diggle hell. Oh, this idiot walked in. He's got the thaumite infection. Yep, he's dead. Thaumite infection hits so fucking hard, chat. And makes more thaumite. He never stood a goddamn chance. Ever. We just can't go that way for a minute while the thaumite dissipates. Like, honestly, chat, like, literally. Did you see? You see how hard this thaumite hits, right? If I get hit... No, 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 chat. It's strong, but the thing is, it's only strong until I've been hit by it myself, which will happen at some point. And when that happens, I die too. Okay, I will never... I can't survive a thaumite infection. Wanda's... Chat, this one... Chat! This is a legendary wand of gods. Not many people ever see Wanda's wand of wands in their life, in their lifetime, even in Wikipedia pages. Created by a legendary mermaid preparing for war against the surface world, this thing packs a thaumaturgical firepower enough to wipe a small country off the map or possibly spontaneously create one out of thin air. Don't let it fall into the wrong hands. I'm taking it. Equip it. I'm going to cast it on something. The next enemy I see gets wanded. All right. I just accidentally released the enraged diggles. Well, now we have to fight them. Wanda! That did a lot of damage. I'm gonna cast it again. Wanda! All right, that blew one of them up and also spawned wands out of them. <laughs> I casted it. It, it hurt one of them very badly and they dumped two wands out of them. They dropped wands. New more wands. Okay, now we're gonna poison this guy. He's in a monstrous rage. He hits for nine damage a pop. Let's just take care of these guys as quick as we can. Okay, looks like we should be okay. This switcheroo doesn't really, uh switch doesn't really do the switch move i've done it a couple times i guess because i always die when i cast it fiery wand a couple of fiery wands and a couple of rock wand handy wand need a hand with magic well here you go wand of laser this shoots laser beams and we got another rock wand okay i would like to equip handy wand in my inventory real quick how does this work what does a hand wand do Let's try this on an item. I think it might be like able to telekinetically pick things up. No. Okay, we use it on enemies to kill them. That's an uber chest. These open by levers in the uh, in the area. So we have to find the uh, lever to open that. We won't be able to get it just yet. Activate hand wand! Okay, it didn't really do anything. It didn't, the wand, hand wand didn't really do it. Okay. I'm gonna use the- I'm gonna activate Thaumites! Let the Thaumites do the rest. God, I like this game, dude. This game is- it's always nice to return to this game after a while. It really is. It's just one of those kinds of games, you know? It never really gets old. It's just- it's fucking addicting. Gargoyle traps, deactivate them. More bumblebee people. Try to get as many in proximity of me as possible. Actually, that's a terrible idea. I'm on the hardest difficulty. Yeah, let's not... They just yelled Marco when they died. Either they were doing a Marco Polo bit, or... Hang on, I'm gonna antagonize this, this fucking guy. Okay, Fiery Wand does damage. That instantly killed that Diggle. He exploded. He's gone. Boom, poof, dead. I just don't want to go near it because the Thaumites are still over there. I know better. Is this another shop? Yo, this one's got some... That's... One of the strongest... That's one of the strongest items in the whole game. Sock puppet. 
for only 486. <laughs> Overused bit. My ass! Overused! Go to hell, chat! Cringe bit. Diggle under ruse. I'm never taking them off. You can't make me. Mm, well, first I'm going to sell some things. I've got some things I want to sell. Burnt out wands. Sell those. Voltaic things. Uh, wand of laser. These wands sell for a lot. The rock wands especially sell for a lot. I'd like to hang on to those. But we're at over almost a thousand dollars. Okay, chat. This is a super cape. Uh, the last scion of planet Capeton. This cape is imbued with powers far beyond those of mortal capes. Keep it away from glowing green rocks. That's garbage. It's actually not very good. Um, you can tell because it costs so much money that you're never actually supposed to get it. Actually, chat, what this is, what super cape is, is the item we come back to in a couple of floors, equip, and then use it to kill Brax. Basically. So remember this is here because in a couple of hours, if we're still alive on this character, we're going to come back up here and murder him while wearing it because he won't be able to stop us with the buff we receive from wearing it. That's what... Critical mystical graffiti. All right, chat, you guys good? I need to write... I need a page, piece of paper to write this stuff down because I actually need to, like, jot this down. Hang on, I'm going to open up Notepad on my computer. Hey, pull open Notepad. Because we have to, like, write this down. A... Mag... Chag... Boring. A mag chigarit. Okay, so this is which uh, this is a uh, wizard graffiti. So basically, what it means, chat, is that if I take this into the pocket dimension and I type it in here on the control panel, it will not make a red portal. It'll make a black spooky one because this one takes us to not wizard hell. It takes us to wizard zone. It, like, it, it'll still kick my ass right now, so we're not doing it. I want to level up a little bit more, but then we will go in there. It will kick my ass, though, in there. That place is like a... That place is fucked up. Okay, let the bumblebee person close the gap. And then sneeze. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. I, I, don't, I just don't like sneezing and getting surrounded because of the thaumites. They're so powerful, you know? God, this is the music. That's Varfod, the Kaiser of Grimoires. This wooden sword is the same thing as last time, but just a different name. But you know what I mean. Oh, an anvil of Krong. These are actually really good. They let us basically upgrade a piece of gear. They're actually, like, really good. If you find a couple, you can, add, you can do some pretty crazy stuff with items. Essentially just boosts the stats of an item that you put inside. So if I were to pick up my Venomous Stiletto, it would go from like 2-2-1 two, two, to like 2-4-1 or two, like 3-3-2, like three, three, stuff like that. It boosts some stats. And I think brings it up a tier. But we don't want to use it yet because we don't have any items. Pfft, now we do! Hincup! The Sultan of Yeasts! We're going to equip that. That's going right on my ring slot. Uh, this seems like a bad scene. Hang on, I'm gonna back up and heal first. Eat some of my diggle eggs. Digest them. Because I'm seeing this fucking dead skeleton and a cursed statue here. And if only I spoke Hovatos. This indig the indigenous population like to leave these things lying around to tempt unwary archaeologists. It is studded with grape shot. I'm guessing this lever opens the uber chest. Way back over here. I'm not going anywhere near that thing yet. I'm not going to touch it. That's going to stay right where it belongs. On that pedestal. Damn it, that was not the lever for the uber chest. 
Son of a bitch. Isn't there a button that lets me walk faster when I'm traveling? I'm pretty sure there is. Hang on. Animation speed equal and minus. Okay, so this is nice for traveling when you're, like, retreading already, like, stuff you've already done, because I can just boot up, the, like, I can, I can just speed it up, the animation. Little, little gamer move for you guys, in case you're, like, playing this game and you want to move fast, you can do it multiple times and spoot it up, you know what I mean? Just don't fight like that or you'll die instantly. Piece of cake. Another dead diggle, I'm not surprised. What's down this? There's some scrawl here. It says, fish in a very long and narrow barrel. What does that mean? I'm leaving. No, I'm not. What just happened to me? I'm scared now. There's an eye. Ah! Okay, I spawned like bats. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got, I got cornered. I was in like, I, I was stuck between two things of thalmite when I activated. I didn't realize what I was doing wrong. Swap with me. Yeah, I'll see you later, all right? It's been a pleasure, Diggle. It really has. It really has been a pleasure. It always has been. Goodbye. Man, I was like a fish trapped in a barrel. Okay, the thalmite has started to spread. There are more guys walking down it. It's dissipated. Let's go. I'm guessing this lever either... That, I mean, that lever spawns stuff. I'm still looking for... I'm still looking for the uber chest lever. Okay, nothing nothing wrong here. These ravens die instantly. That's an eyeball statue. Nothing, nothing too crazy. More gnomes. Honestly, dealing with these guys is a piece of... Did that tickle explode? I mean, I'm messing with your head, says the raven. I think the tickle just went digging. Yeah, there he is. I'm in your head! That's a rope. I'm wearing a fine linen shirt, which gives me more stats, so I'm not going to even bother with it. But I am going to take this cheese soup. Guys, honestly, though, that's just queso, basically, and I would go to town on a bowl of queso. Probably with chips, though, but I would still do it, right? You would too, right? I, I mean, like, cheese is cheese, and cheese is so fucking good. I'm gonna drink from the fountain. There are little mushrooms growing in the water. How cute. Also disgusting. I got Azure magic magics. My magics are now more powerful than ever before. We keep traveling. How'd that mummy get here? I think it did something to me. It darkened my vision. I can't see. Man, Blackjack is really strong. That procs a lot. That's why I keep stunning things. I'm stunning things whenever I attack sometimes. I was bored of life anyways. But. Bro. Same, man. Same. Yeah, lots of these dialogues end up being sad. But they deserve it. These monsters get everything that's coming to them, all right? <gasps> ah! Eat something fast! I just got acid! The cheese! Two more turns of it. I'll be fine. The cheese is really strong, so it's healing me faster than the acid could hurt me. Alright, we can't go back that way. Man, I never thought I'd get a taste of my own medicine. <laughs> That's... Islos, the corpulent bath towel. It's a, it's a blade enchanted against all werewolves, some vampires, and any monster born in Hollywood. It's studded with glass. Let's just disable that blade trap and loot it, because we're going to sell this thing. We're going to pawn it off. I had to go back this way, huh? Oh, my God. Chat, this is a bad scene. I ha oh, wait, the thawmite. I can cut through walls with my, with my sneeze move. Just gotta wait another 40 turns to try it again, and eventually it'll proc the cut. I believe. And once more! And go again! <laughs> I'm not going back acid way. I will cut through this fucking wall. I don't care how long it takes. I don't care how long it takes. I'm cutting through this fucking wall. Please. I've seen it happen! Do it again! 
Whatever it takes. More. Please. Please. One more try. And then I'll try acid again. Okay. Fine. We have a healing potion. Ow. Okay, it doesn't hurt me enough to kill me. Fortunately, it does about 15 to 16 damage. So we're going to try it again. I'm just going to walk over it. I like my chances more just crossing the path and then healing, then trying it another six times, getting hit every time, and then just eating all my potions after a certain point. Where are these giggles fucking coming from? No matter. It changes nothing. Let the Thaumites take them. Let the Thaumites take them all. Okay, actually, there's a lot of guys coming. Uh, Dwarven inspirational speech. Yes, now it's just you and me. So if they succeed and it doesn't knock them out, it looks like they receive a buff instead. And this guy's fucking super mad at me now. Uh, I have a gun. Oh, I have a wand of fire. Yeah, I'll do. I'm on my way. I'm making it says the Amazonian bumblebee person. Fucking dying! They're dead and I leveled up! All right, chat. Thaumite man or woman. Is he a dot or is he a speck? Whatever he is, triangle man won't be having, won't be giving him any more trouble. Okay, this is a, this is just a flat buff to my character. But it give, it's gonna give us access to more powerful moves so soon. We're gonna be able to spawn slime soon. I'll take it. Just gotta take care of this bat. Not a oh, he's got the infection! He was sick all along. Wait, I- Oh, no. Chat. I am now contagious. I've got the virus. Is what just- He didn't get the might from those things. I believe I'm spreading it through melee attacks now. We'll test it on the sick diggle. Yup. Oh, no. But it doesn't explode out of them. It might be semi-safe for humans. It might be okay. No one panic. We'll try it on this well-defined bat. Okay, he's dodging all my moves. He's winning. He's winning. Man, that bat is strong. Try it on Goo Boy. Okay, it seems to be safe-ish. Sometimes I drop acid on the ground. But it seems like it's okay. We'll be alright. Chad, we'll be alright. That's not gonna get us. Don't- I'm just like scared now. I'm afraid one of them's gonna blow up and drop a bunch of fucking- Oh, that's a deagle. This is an obvious trap. Never mind, it was a shiv. Rough Iron ha Yalmer. I'll take that. I gotta heal. I don't know why I'm not healing. I'm getting like fucking, I'm getting overconfident. This is exactly how you die in this kind of game. By not healing. Okay, let's heal. Let's eat something and heal. You don't have much food. Something's coming. Chat, did you hear that? Healing ability? Chat, I have zero confidence in this ability not fucking blowing me up because it says side effects may vary. And when it said, when something in this game says something might go wrong, your guy is going to fucking instantly die. I'm not sure I want to tango with that yet. You know what I mean? It's a lot easier to not tango with it. my blast! Yes! Just clear this out and grab these nice shoes. These are mine now. Is that... Is that garlic? I think that's garlic. Next to a freeze wand. I believe these are statues of garlic. Gladiator sandals. I'm going to put these on. I'll be taking these. So this is a summon uh, vending machine lever thing. So I just put down... Oh, that was good. What was that? What hit me? Was it a death arrow? I'm going to try to summon a food, uh, ve uh, a food vending machine. Yep, did it. We've summoned food. And that means we can purchase 
some delicious delicacies with Zork meat now. I will, of course, be summoning and purchasing steak and eating it and these cheese rounds. Ugh. Frogs! Muppet News Flash! Animal cruelty is not the least bit funny. True. I'm not even gonna bother trying to get them so I can fucking throw them at people. Because they're our friends. Eccentric top hat? What does that give me? Savvy. Uh... It affects magical haywire chance and sneakiness. Magical haywire is how much your spells can crit for, I believe. Or the frequency that a spell can crit. Just for the record. So if the game yells, HAYWIRE! It means that I crit with a spell. And otherwise it says crit if it's a melee attack like that stab. Ow. Oh. Is this like a god tier potato? Never mind, it's fine. That's Crimson Parth, the vassal to plura pl pl pluralities. <laughs> Can we edit this out? No, it's live. Okay. An amethyst. Inatrad, the creative bicorn hat. It's not a hat. That's a shirt. That one's a shirt. But whatever. Ow! Okay, I hate traps in this game, dude, because I'm not smart. My character can't see all of them. Why? That one I could see. And I almost died. I'm gonna eat these diggle eggs and this rune crunch cereal. Oh, I dropped, I dropped a rune. I can use this. Vas ex us. You will be quick and agile if you stand on the glyph. Okay. Yeah. Remember, chat, the right thing to do is break statues of people you disrespect. Remember that. I'm gonna put on this, uh, I'm gonna put on this hat. Here we go. I'm also probably gonna sell the fine linen shirt somewhere else. Uh, no, I'm not gonna even bother with that. I think we're done on this floor. Wait, no, we have something up here. See that? I said, see that? Chat, do you see that? There's a breach. There's a hole up there. We're going for it. Oh my god. The final resting place of the recently deceased. This one is not a floor model. It's empty. But I got five dollars out of it. It offered little resistance. I smashed it open. Who's that? That's not supposed to be on the first floor of the dungeon. Chat, there's things coming out of the lower floors trying to get me. I'm going to shoot them. Bye. I won. They're dead. That's why I got a pack. Goop! It's a quivery blob of ectoplasmic slime. This monster is trying to kill you. Okay, I can handle this. Let it get a bit closer and then do the thawmite sneeze. Oh yeah, this guy's this guy's actually not taking any damage from the Thaumite flu. I don't really want him near me then. I'm gonna slam him with the wand. Okay. He's dead now. Ah. Uh, there's a lot of fucking Thaumite around. And this fire one is good, dude. Is there anything in here? No. That was just a little pit. All right, we're gonna head up north to the last room that I saw up here. We teleported somewhere and, God, there are just enemies everywhere. They just keep fucking crawling out of the rafters. The dead. Man, the sneeze is so good. All right, let's check out up here. Chalked scrawl. Best let Fisk be, it is no man that kens what yon murky depth render forth. I see. It makes sense to me. You don't, you don't follow? You don't have, you don't, you can't talk and, oh my God. Oh, those guys have range attacks, don't they? Ah! Ah! I'm all right. Oh my God. Sir, let me go. I don't want any trouble. 
I really want that box though. That's a Heradric. That's a Heradric Loot Fisk box. We can sacrifice Loot Fisk into it. I'm gonna give this thing the business. He dodged it. Got him that time. Yeah, this wand is good. This we can take care of this fucking thing. I hate being rushed. Let him burn. All right, we took care of it. Let's claim what is ours. The Haradric Loot Fisk Cube. Loot Fisk for the Loot, loot Fisk God. Chat, this thing is very simple. All right. Before the Loot Fisk God, all is Fisk to the loot. Place your inedible items into the cube to transform them into possibly even less edible Loot Fisk. Yes. Chat, basically this is a box that allows me to say, take this priceless gem and turn it into one loot fisk. Which is technically one health. Now, this is actually not what you use the loot fisk for. We will be sacrificing it to a loot fisk god when we see him. But we have not seen him yet, so we're not doing that yet. We're just hoarding the loot fisk. What are you protecting there? A pearlescent wand. I'll be taking that. And killing you. Goodbye. Still haven't opened that Uber chest, but I'm sure it's gonna happen soon. We're running out of map. That could be it right there. We'll go back and check on the Uber chest later. Uh oh, there's a gnome. Get him out of the way. Plastic ore. Enormous wrench. We don't use that kind of type of weapon, so we're not gonna bother. Oh, I hate tri Dude, that's triangles. I don't like triangles. Triangles are one of my greatest weaknesses in this. Hang on, the, the chest is locked. Bash it open. I thought I had lockpicks. Oh, I guess I ran out. Yeah, bash it open. All right, I broke everything inside of it. I could have sworn I had uh, more lockpicks in there. No matter. Blue candy vodka. No, we don't use mana right now. I'm not going to take mana potions. That's the statue of Inconsequentia. She gives us side quests. I'm going to investigate this. Pray to the goddess of side quests. Yes. The magical artifact, Keytray, the horror of kittens has been lost. Will you seek it for me, warrior? Yeah. Where is it? Oh, it's... Isn't that the... Uh... Okay, well, I can go get that. It's right there. I can get that later. I'll be back. In a while. It's gonna take a l I didn't heal before I can't- I'm gonna have to shoot this- I gotta shoot this guy. I did- I forgot to heal. Shoot him. Go heal, I need to heal. I'm gonna just sit here, pressing space until I've healed, because I don't want to spend any food. Okay, we're gonna be here forever if I do this. I need to eat something. I need more food, I'm running out. All I have is a plum. I'm not eating the loot fisk! Don't even bother fucking rec like recommending that. It's not happening. I'm not eating it. Ooh, another statue of Krong. Ow. Ow. Ow, toxic gas. Man, I am way too trap happy. I walk on this stuff so fucking fast in this game. Oh, wait, I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta go. Hang on. I don't usually have to go this suddenly. I gotta go. Hang on. Hey, I'm back. Ah. I'm back. Taco Bell dysentery. I didn't eat the Taco Bells. Shut up. You guys want to take a look downstairs and just see what the deal is? All right. Bad first omen down the stairs. 
Okay, we're gonna head south and take care of the last part of this floor. It's important since we're not on the shorter version of the game that we loot everything, because we need the money for gear. We will release this gnome prisoner from his captivity so we can kill him ourselves. The monster is dead, I've killed him. What the? Secret pants hidden behind an, a, a blind corner. A meave, the thrice damned ungulate. Proper breaches are the first step on the road to becoming a mighty pirate. It is studded with Damascus steel. Is that better than my pair? I'm not even wearing pants, so yes, it is. And a disposable ingot press. We'll take it to sell it. We're not actually going to do crafting. But we'll take it to sell it. Why did I fucking do that? Why did I think that was going to play out well? We're okay, because the traps don't activate if you're just standing on them if they spawned there. We're all right. It's just, I don't understand why I did. Look at them. Oh no, a traffic jam, says the enraged Diggle. Just racked with road rage, trying to kill me. Look at them. Chat, they don't stand a goddamn chance. I, f I cast Freeze on them. And I pull out my pur pur pearlescent wand and I cast that on them too. Which does nothing actually, it doesn't do anything. Then I pull out my stone wand. All right, and I cast that on them. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> Didn't mean to uh, release them. That I cast another. Okay. Well, they're stunned because of the fucking freeze wand, so I've got time to sneeze and get them. I I could basically, you know, kill half of them with the thaumite right there, and this guy's basically nothing afterwards. Sh sh See you later, man. I gotta loot that room. I gotta wait for the Thawmite to leave. What the hell's it? Yeah, I just spawned here! Whatever, I got him. Just wait for the Thawmite to go away. Anything? No. We're good. Continue clearing. Potato. We're almost done. There's not much more of this floor to go. Where am I? Alright, keep going. Where am I? I don't want to be here. Keep going. What is it? Oh, I actually want I want to be here. I want that mushroom. Where the... Hey. We're getting close to something. I can feel it. Apparently, crossbows are really good in this game, like shooting arrows and stuff, but I just never use them. Nor will I ever. If I have it. Jason! Jason! Sean! 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 Jason! Sean! One of these days... One of these days... I'll play that game. One of these days. Alright, let's just test out what this does. It healed me. But what happens now? Nothing. I guess I got lucky that time, but that was a huge amount of healing. I, uh, I don't trust it, though, as far as I can throw it. That just feels like... Feels like I'm begging to get killed by it. When I do that. Like, I, I don't know. It just feels like that's a... Feel, feels like that's a terrible, like, skill that's just gonna kill me. More graffiti on the wall. And what's this? Pneumes, the master of the hulls. Pretty much the worst ring possible. Okay, well, I'm still gonna take it anyways. Wait, these are demons. Gnomes are demons. I can equip them. I mean, I can command them to do my bidding. Yes, but first of all, magical graffiti. This is Pasra Nuzgaram. Let me type this in. Okay. I have it. Jot it down. We're probably ready to do a, a wizard zone. 
should be selling some of these bolts. Some of these higher tier bolts can sell for quite a bit at the market. And I do want to buy the super cape or kill that demon, you know, one or the other. So I would like to, ow, I would like to get some more money. Man, it's been a while since we've leveled up, dude. <gasps> it's a zoo of five monsters. Usually when you open this, it's like 30 or 40. This one's five. This zoo's had better days. They're, it's a small zoo. It's like a town zoo where it's like a petting zoo and there's like some goats. And like they might have like one sort of fancy animal, like a koala or something. And other than that, it's like completely nothing. Okay, well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do... I'm gonna... I'm gonna destroy them with with my move. You know? First, I'm gonna knock them all out. Okay. They all... hated it, but it didn't knock them out. They're coming. Let them get a little bit closer. Come on. We feed the strong and cook the weak, says the gnome. All right, well, you work for me now. Kill them. Oh, he's running from me. Okay, the demon is running from me. The other ones, the other ones are still participating in the combat. That's fine. Poison them. Back up a little bit. We're actually cornered on both sides by trapped. You are what you eat. Oh, we'll be fine, chat. I'm gonna be okay. The, o the Amazonian bumblebee person is the only one left that can fight them. Well, me. Now, the Thaumite is a situation I'm trying to avoid right now. Before it spreads to me and kills me. Okay, let's just let this dissipate. Did you hear that tomato's becoming a diggle? No, I just got diggle flu. It's not like when you get like... When you got like swine flu back in the day when that was all the rage, you didn't see people being like... Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, he's becoming a pig. I just got Diggle Flu. I got an item. I got like overalls. Rylan, the words of fate. The Germans are a strange people. It's studded with driftwood. It's covered in blood. Oh, that's just nasty. I believe that might be better than the clothes I'm wearing. Eh, it's better for my class. Except is, I think Thaumite stuff might be ethereal. Ah, who cares? We're gonna use these ones. They have more stars on them, and that means they're better. Let the... let the poison... Just let the poison destroy them. Don't go to heaven. We all go to heaven, gnome friend. The only people who don't are diggles. They go to hell. Alright? Now perish. Why this? Why us? Why? <laughs> It's over. Why? Another Uber chest. This one's actually unlocked. I got Ani, the twisted donut. It's a belt. It helps keep your pants up and provides peace of mind. It's studded with neutronium. And down there we have a, a, a diggle saying I'm a dummy. Hey, Tomato, I just wanted to say I used to enjoy your streams until you became a diggle. I mean, you're not as funny anymore after the transformation, so I'm going to go watch a v VTuber or some shit. Anything, but you, that's okay. If you don't like me as a diggle, that's fine, because I wouldn't like myself as a diggle either. But that's okay, because I'm not actually becoming one. I wouldn't watch me if I was a diggle. Wow, there's a lot of diggles here. It's open season. The diggle collapses in a pile of dandruff flakes and soap. See, Chad, that's what I'm talking about. They're disgusting. How is that normal? You're acting like it's okay to be a diggle, but you just saw what happened to that diggle when he died. He another pile of soap and dog's breakfast. How is that normal? You know it cannot be this way. Dave Raymond also dies. I'm getting low on health, but I think I'll be okay. This tickle explodes into funny hats. That's fine. 
We defeated the monsters. Now I just need to heal. Oh my god. Don't cut me off. It looks like we have a winner. <laughs> just gotta be faster than the slowest guy. It's okay, Chad. I have a plan. Gun move. <laughs> Fucking die. Okay. Now I'm gonna use the field nano surgeon. Heal myself up to basically super full. And stay mobile because I believe Thaumites might explode out of my fucking body. I'm okay. We're fine. Toasty! We're, I am surrounded by fucking diggles. Good news is they can't reach me from this side. They have to dig to me. I think, yeah, there's Thaumite still spreading to them. Which is why they're all dying and screaming. I'll put the kibosh on your ambitions. That might be the spookiest one I've heard from one of the enemies in this game in a long time. I need to get past all this thaw might. Test your might. This one won't shut the fuck up. I'm off to see the wind. Shut the... What's his deal? Winter is coming. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I gotta kill that guy. He's just yelling memes at me. This is a test of the emergency dungeon warning system. This is only a test. Had this been a real emergency, you'd be dead by now. They, they never even knew. Ectoplasmic accession. This thing creeped out of some crack between dimensions. This monster has not noticed your presence. Big mistake. They're dead now. Like every enemy that's ever come before them. What the hell? That's not good. <laughs> Chat, mysterious portals usually take you to hell, like horrible zones. Like just terrible shithole places. We may want to be careful going near that thing. We probably don't want to go touching that. Just yet. If we know what's good for us, that is. I'll slit your mama's throat for a Zorkmid was the last thing that Diggle said before I cut his head off. Damn, man. Take it easy, bro. It's not a... Really making a big deal out of all this. I gotta get out of here. Gotta be careful. I'm playing like a... Time for your four-year journey of the soul. I'm gonna kill that one. I don't know what he's talking about. You must be new here, says this one. He's sick. We're gonna be okay, chat. You sure do dress funny, says that guy. So we're gonna field nanosurgeon because I'm starting to realize there's not really there's not many downsides to field nanosurgeon apparently. Cause um it's just incredibly powerful. Alright. Could it be? It's him! Get out of my fucking way! The loot fisk god! You have tied 20 pieces of loot fisk. That's right, chat. We can now give our loot fisk. To the loot fisk god, and he will repay us in kind. When we have some. It said zero, not 20. Yeah, whatever. Doesn't matter, does it, chat? Did it change your experience of the stream? Did it, did it alter your enjoyment in any way? Did it really matter? I could have said 6,000. Would it have impacted anything? Kind of did, actually. I hate this stream now. Well, now you're going to love it because I just leveled up and I get a new friend. Great goo. When the Archwizard Raymond Kurzweil mentioned the possibility of Thaumites destroying the entire world, you merely got ideas. Hmm. I thought it was supposed to be gray. You can summon a few of them at a time. Yes. Yes. How's this work? Apocalyptic goo. How could this little thing of, how could this little blob of goo possibly destroy the earth? It's far too busy destroying the dungeon. This monster is a tame monster and fights alongside you. My boy. My boy. I love him. My boy, kill this bee. Oh my god, what chance do these people have? They can barely fucking damage him. They actually can't do anything to- That's Paspro, the face of ages! When you wield this, everything looks like a nail. 
Wow, apocalyptic goo barely even don't. Okay, I can walk over him, we're fine. Gnomes! Okay, this should... God damn, yeah, this slime is gonna... This guy's gonna do us some fucking damage, chat. I got a good feeling. I can spawn more. Hang on, how many more can I spawn? Okay, that's two. I can make two minimum. Okay, so it's a sustain. We sustain two. So we only have seven... Wait, no, no, we do not! Hang on, how much does this cost? 24? How many... How many of these can I make? This changes everything. Where's my drink? I got... I grabbed, like, special drink. Sewer brew. That's not it. Where's the... Where is it? Here it is. Drink these. Drink these and digest them. And summon another. Okay, that's three. At a certain point, chat, they're gonna rise up and try to get me. So we're just trying to avoid that part. Get them! My spawn! Yes! Look at how powerful they are! They're just sweeping the fucking landscape. Killing everything they see. Also, I think that gnome was yellow. Like, he was actually, like... Did he have, like, gout? Gangrene or something? He was, like... He looked sick. Sicker than the others. I didn't get a good look at him because my slime killed him so quickly. Ooh, potion of healing. I'll take that. More enemies. You're busting up my rhythm. Death! That's death! There's only one of them in the world! And he's here, now! Trying to kill us, chat! I'm gonna summon him. I can't summon the slime. Okay, I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spread Thaumite infection over there and it'll pretty much just do the rest. I learned something today! Says the potato. As he gets violently killed by my blobs. Wow, there's really nothing I can do to help them. They've barely hurt this blob. You're a sad, strange hero. All right, looks like the blob has found death and he's killing him. I can't even reach him if I wanted. Death is dead, the blob won. Guys, I think I made, I think I've made something too powerful for, is that a robot? Unfriendly AI. This shows the tangible threat of the unfriendly AI program. It's trying to kill me. Okay, uh, the slime actually does very little damage. I'm just gonna sneeze. I can't. Hang on, I'm not, I, I'm not ready. I don't think I can poison this guy. I gotta use him. I gotta, I gotta shoot him. Forget it. He's killing the slime. Blah! And that's how we deal with robots, my child. We send them somewhere else. Do you understand? We don't play around with that kind of stuff around here, my boy. We send them elsewhere. All right, this is a chest of evil. Out of it came Parthenium, the supervisor of gears. Cloud gremlins riding clouds out for adventure in shocking times. This thing is trying to kill you. Okay. Well, I can't block both of the exits, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna sneeze on him. He resisted the Thaumite, and he hit my goo so hard. I need to help the goo. I'm not running yet. It's not run phase. It's not the phase yet where I fear my death. I'm gonna try to knock him out. All right, that made him angrier. Oh my God. He's got Thaumite. He's dead. Yeah, we infected him. We got him. We got him, boys. We got him. We got him right where we wanted him. We just had to wait for the Thaumite to activate. Never a problem in the world, except my slime is dead. I think I still have two slimes and they're just like hanging upstairs, not helping. Where are they? Guys? No, they died. I'm not sure how. Did I ever pull this lever? Evidently I didn't because I just activated it. Guys, I don't know when our two other boys died, but they died. Gaga's Glaze coats your armor with delicious meat, preventing the nasty monsters from biting down on it. Okay, I could actually make that. That's just meat. Common Cave Raven. We'll summon another goo as soon as we have the mana, but I'm not gonna like wait for it. An ambush! Man, this Thaumite thing is really strong, Chet. Except for this Diggle, who's apparently resisting it. Uh, okay, that's not supposed to happen. We're all right. 
We took care of it. Yeah, as long as we don't touch it, we're fine. Even if they do resist it, they're not, like, strong. So it's no big deal. Arrows. We're almost done with this floor. Then we can go on to the next one. We're close. Let me summon a goo guy over there to distract those two. While I take care of the gnome. Valhalla awaits! Ah! Nice. Well, chat. I would say this has been an excellent floor, all things considered. But aside from a couple of extra rooms, this place is pretty much cleaned up. Fleens? You're not fleens. I don't understand what you're saying. I don't understand this bat's reference. I believe I just haywire infected my own apocalyptic goo of Thaumite. I hope he's okay. He seems to have blocked us in. That's actually pretty bad. If I infected one of my guys and they just followed me, they'd get me, like, trapped somewhere and then infect me. Another- Oh, baby! That's another gun of squareness! Oh, yeah, that's going right into my fucking bar. That's another squareness gun. Chat, we're back in the business. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know why- Why I touch... The traps. On the ground. Because they just seem to keep punishing me. I don't know why I bother. Like, they're technically XP. Okay, my slime killed something over there for a lot of damage. I'm going to heal up a tiny bit using this, I think, log of cheese. Okay, here's the thing, chat. I fucking love cheese. You know this about me, okay? I like the cheese quite a bit. However, one thing I can say is that I don't believe I would eat an entire fucking, like, log of it, you know? I, I think cheese is like a... In, in a form where you are eating it alone. I'm not sure I would do that. Not because I don't want to. Because that is a, an insane amount of fats and sodiums. You know what I mean? That is... That's enough to spike my blood pressure to the point where I'd feel it the next day. If I ate like a wedge of cheese, just straight cheese. Another inconsequential statue. We will take advantage of this. I believe I'm standing in poison. All right, let's ask her what she wants us to do. The vile monster Nulavarp, the annihilator of lulls, has seized the dungeons. We will vanquish him. Lockpick case. I don't want that. Lulls? No, chat. Not with a U, you fucking idiots. U L L U L. It's not the same. You know that if you could read, you'd know it if you could read. What happened to me? I think I just stepped in a trap. Oh my god. This is how I die, like just getting distracted and walking around without looking where I'm stepping. It's a normal bumblebee person, I can take him. I just... I'd like to spawn... Oh, I'm on the wrong thing, I accidentally just used healing. I meant to use slime. Because that's Samadhi. Never let the small matter of death get in the way of having a good time. All right, we're moving. We're moving on. Once we level up one more time chat, we ascend, okay? We're basically, once we get nanite armor, we're one step closer to nanite detonator. And at that point, we are the god of the dungeons. All right? We got one more room on this floor and then one other spot in the top corner and then we'll take care of the side quests and move on. Balls! Yells little baddie, dying. I don't even need special moves anymore to kill the bastards on this fucking floor. They're so easy. This is the easy floor now. There's nothing they can do to stop me. What's this? An eyeball shrine. Creepy eyeballs are looking at me. I can just ransack this diggle nest like it's nothing. There's nothing they can do. Don't even need abilities. Just kill them and take the eggs. No problem. The eggs are mine. We will devour them in time. Perhaps I'll make them into a nice omelet. And we leave. 
Are you going back for that cape? Not currently. Drax? Brax? Whatever his name is would fucking kill me so fucking bad right now. I can't take him yet. That's like a floor four or so return trip. We come back in a while to do that kind of thing. He would he would slap me so fucking bad right now. Wait, I need to get those eggs. Those eggs over there, I want them. I think I'm being chased by a diggle. Oh yeah, I didn't go in here because I saw this spooky portal. Now it's all coming back to me. Ah, very good every time I fucking step on a super trap. It's always very good. Okay. Let's heal. I'm gonna walk into the portal chat. We're gonna take a peek and I'm getting back out. Who's that? Oh my god, we can't leave. Oh my god, the portal disappeared behind us. Chat, this is the this is the grotto of Grimoires! We're not fucked. We have slime move. Hit him. Okay, that was a two damage crit. <laughs> I knocked out my side for 29! Okay, we're kicking it up a notch. We're gonna have to use the wands. The wands will kill them. This one, I mean. The others... If there's more... Who fucking knows? We're gonna have to spawn the boys. We're spawning in the boys. We're spawning in a thousand slimes. Alright, as many as it'll let us make. It might take a minute to get all the mana for it. But it'll be worth it. A mash spacebar to get my mana back. Oh my god. Who's that? Oh, that one's weak. That was not as scary. My slime can take that. He got him. But he's almost dead. We just need to keep farming me- Who's that? Whoa, that's a heck raven! A demon from hell! You're my prisoner now. I'm dead. 22 damage! Heck raven. Please. The gun. The gun. <laughs> we have made a big mistake coming to this pocket dimension, Chet. How many more charges we got in the gun? Because it's the only way we get out of here. Three more charges on the gun. Oh my god, this is fucking awful. And we don't have any mana things to summon more shit quickly. We have some diggle eggs and some grated cheese. Chat, do you believe? In me? I need to summon more- The slimes are the only way we get out of this. Okay? The only way we survive this is with the help of slimes. We keep the entire room visible to us so nothing spawns, or hopefully nothing spawns. And we slowly form an army of slimes, because if they can distract enemies, I can do the, the sneeze move on. Guys. Okay? But I can't do it if they're attacking me because I hit so hard. I just need more power. God, I cannot believe they do so much damage. If they crit me, I'm dead. This is a pocket dimension. But yeah, yeah, we can't take our... Our pocket dimension is locked because we're in a pocket dimension. We have to find the exit to leave. Meaning we'll probably have to run by a boss fight. Okay? I want three slimes. I won't feel comfortable without three of them. Okay, we need one more. You had a plan. I still have a plan. It's really bad when you're mashing space because sometimes something like this can happen. 13 damage a hit, huh? On that thing. I still have Fiery Wand. Which will kill them before they kill mine. Technically. We can't stay here forever. It'll just keep happening. Oh! <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> oh, it's over! There's only one chance I have! And it's closing the gap, sneezing, and hoping that the fucking Thawmites will kill everything before it can reach me! Go, my children! Oh my god, the Thawmite, they don't even care about the Thawmites. If he dies... Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, Jesus Christ! Sleep! The last thing I heard... When I think a golem made of gold... Broke every bone in my body... Was... Give me liberty or give me death. And then he punched my head off. I told you that portal was bad news. These guys were probably like level sevens and eights. And I was a, also a level seven or eight. Well, sometimes that do be how it is, you know? Sometimes that do be how it is. We go again. I'm going to do going rogue again, but this time we're going to set it at no time to grind, which is going to make the floors a little bit smaller. Okay? We'll be able to get deeper into the dungeons. Essentially, we level up a little bit faster. All right, we get three rolls. Our first one is big game hunter, demonologist again, rogue scientist, which gives us some tinkering stuff. Warlockery. Nah, conspiracy victim. Now that you've found Dreadmore's conspiracy, you will not let him spy you as your creepy big brother always does. Okay, uh, we have a uh, Canadian goalie and wind magic. Pass. Throne weapons, master of arms, archaeology, were diggle curse, battle geology, magical law, and drunken boxing. Get drunk, hit stuff, maybe spit fire. Everything else is details. This could be really good. Mixed with the battle geology buff, this could be really good with wear diggle and drunk boxing. Chat, this could be it. We only get one more roll. I think we go with this. This could be it. This is it. We're going for it. Smack toe. All right. We have a wear diggle form. We're going to activate plutonic fist immediately. And we can confiscate and teleport items to us from any distance with confiscate evidence. Since we don't spawn with a weapon, we will use this crude iron mace. Now, chat, because now you can tell by the map size, basically what no time to grind means is that this game is going to take us 30 years to beat. So now we can break in here and kill these deals and fucking bulk out like it's nothing. <laughs> 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 I'm a Diggle too. <laughs> I've leveled up. Easy. So we have drunken boxing. When you drink, you unconsciously start fighting in a unique, difficult to describe style. You kick a lot of butt, but it's hard to explain why or how. I would sort of like the inebriate Uber combo eventually and the drunken celestial fire surround, but I also really like getting Diggle play. We're gonna get Diggle Plague, which gives us a special Diggle move that lets us poison guys while we're a Diggle, which lasts about 20 to 30 turns. Ow, 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 ow. All right, Mystical Graffiti. We have to delete all the old graffiti now because it's no longer active in this run. So, Lun, B, C, Gorzen. One, three, Gorzen. I got it. All right, let's go. So yeah, we have like 10 or whatever turns of not wear diggle. Tinfoil hat, that's going on my head. Keeps the lizard people on the moon from reading your thoughts, of course, naturally. I technically have a hat that's a Actually, I want to keep the fedora. I got that from being a archeologist. You must find the item Sulikpa, the Count of Monocles, but be warned, it is guarded by Lord Dreadmore's 60th Regiment, the Zodi... <laughs> the Zodiacal Poodle. That guy, chat, he, ooh, already lost my, already found my wizard keys. All right. Free cheese. I'm gonna fucking bulk out on this guy again. Oh my God, chat, we have for 17 a pop in melee right now. 
Like, that's how powerful Rare Diggle form is. Like, this one was running for a second. He was scared of me. We instantly kill things. Ongoing rogue. Oh, I already found the loot fisk. That's good, because I have some to tithe. What if you got drunk as a diggle? I mean, what do you think I'm planning to do, chat? Just fucking sit around and not get drunk? Chat? Want me to sit around and not activate drunken stance and then enter diggle form and see how much fucking damage I do to this fucking stupid diggle? Want me to not beat the shit out of everyone in this fucking hallway? I'm dying. I made a big mistake. That's death himself. <laughs> I have a plan. Don't worry, I have a plan. Unless there's enemies on the other side of this ladder. <gasps> oh, that's a that's just a god, that's a statue. We're okay. I thought that was a stat I thought that was a monster. It's just a statue of a snake. That's good. Now we can heal without getting into too much trouble. So I'm still drunk. Wait! You've gotten drunk, and with it, entered the state of extreme non-sobriety the ancient monks of Shaolin used to call totally fucked up. Amazingly, your kung fu is strong enough that you can maintain this state even if you stop being drunk. Ah, yes. We are in etern- we, we are eternally drunk, Chet. Even when we're not. I'm gonna pray to Zhu Lin Bai, who will give me the blessing of Zhu Lin Bai. The attunement of the tide of time showers you in radiant sunlight. Sometimes this light coalesces and obliterates your enemies. That's fine. Also, I can't go any further this way because it's blocked by the statue of Lu Zhu Lin Bai. So, uh, I'm just going to heal up the rest of the way, go back out of there, bulk out, become the were diggle of, of, of legend, and then kill everything else that was down there. As soon as I've gotten my last little bit of HP, I'm going to go kill them. This is a good fucking build so far, Chet. Oh, bitch! You guys thought you were big! Ooh! Where's that boss? Where is he? I want a word with him! The Baron! Yeah, that's the Baron. He's gonna make sure you have a good time whether you like it or not! Yeah, well, I'm about to give him a bad time. I'm gonna give him the Diggle Plague. Enjoy the plague, Baron. Weaker than ever before. I'm gonna fucking beat the crap out of you. Fuck you! Okay, ow, he's actually beating the shit out of me again. I'm gonna go back downstairs. Don't do it. Hang on, I'm, I, I, I've dropped my wear diggle stance. I gotta go back. Hang on, I gotta go back. I just gotta heal again. Okay, I just gotta, just gotta get another little bit, of, little bit of snack in me. Some more brie cheese. Just gonna get a little bit of healing in me. Then we go back up there and finish him off because he's, he's very strong. Hopefully he doesn't cut me off before I can walk out one block or I won't be able to go back downstairs. And if he corners me again, I'll be really dead. What other options do I have? Acid, that'd be good. Let's transfer before we go up there. Perfect. Let him come to me. I can't take another hit. Wow, this guy's fucking tough. So we're gonna be here for the... That's a crustaceanoid warrior. These guys don't have ranged attacks. So unless they spawn on this side to get me, they can't get me. Come on, step it up! They're trying to get me, but they they can't close that gap. I can technically throw things at them. Oh my god! It's okay. We can actually use this guy to level up if he keeps throwing things. That'll be doable. I don't think he can get me very well. He can keep throwing skulls at me and I can get those for 20 XP a pop. That might be the only way I get out of this because I got to level up. I need more power to kill that fucking thing zoinks at me. Right, I'm going to try throwing acid at him. Okay, we're going to also use that upstairs on the Baron, I think, because that fucking slapped that guy so bad. Okay, we're going to use that on the Baron when we go back up there. Let me just mash space until my health comes all the way back because I've run out of food to eat. Wait, after you drink this, wherever you go, there you are. I see! Yes, I should drink that when I get up there! It do be how it is!
I see. All right, we got this. All right, transfer into wear diggle form. Equip the acid flask. Go upstairs. Acid him. Does my guy not know how to acid? Okay, acid him. All right. Huck it again at him. Yeah, he's fucking dead. I'm such a rocking dude, says the Baron. I throw a boomerang at his head. And level up. To meddling kid. Power up your wear diggle form with increased damage resistance. I'm gonna take it. Just keep going all wear diggle. 100% wear diggle power. Take his top hat. Put on the hat. Take the hat. Ah, uh, is that better than what I have though? No. We'll sell it. Chad, we just needed that level up. We just needed that W. You know what I mean? We just needed that small W. A scrawl. What does being fair have to do with anything? Okay, this is a killer trap. That would hit me so fucking hard. We're gonna try to go around that for now. All right. Chad, I got a good feeling about this, actually. This build. This build's got some spice to it. I think, I think things are gonna be okay. Unless we open that robot door, he will fucking kill us so bad, probably. So just don't open the robot door and we got it. For now, we are the Diggle. Until we run out of Diggle and then we wait for it to come back and then we turn back into the Diggle again and we see combat. Okay. I bought a view! God, this fucking stance is strong as shit. Jesus. I hit like a truck. The monolith. The monolith glares at you ominously. Just chat, don't look at the monolith too hard. I'm gonna drink from the fountain. I've now become invisible. I'm going to use this time to loot things. And go into this building. Oh, I'm visible again. I'm gonna go kill all these diggles in this diggle nest now. Elbereth! 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 I'm not sure what Elbereth is, but I won. And it's a good thing I am drunk forever. Lesser Sai Zai G. A few of the planets have aligned to grant you mildly extraordinary agility, power, and constitution requires mana to upkeep. Huh. I, uh... When did I unlock that? Have I always been able to cast... Lesser Sai Zai 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 I don't remember having that move. Okay, die. Die. Dude, this Diggle form is so fucking strong. I don't know how I ever lived without the Diggle form. You know what I mean? How... How could you live without this kind of power? How do you live without this kind of power? Maybe I was wrong about Diggles. You know, you guys know what I mean? Siegfried, you rat bastard. Right, yeah, I see you running, little bitch. Diggle flu. Diggle slam. Hey, Brax, how's it going? I just want to sell some things. You know how it is. Just want to sell some of my stuff. Don't really want the trouble unless you want trouble. At which point I would take you down without a problem. He's becoming one of them. Chat, that's N. Oh, I actually don't. Eh, that's not there. That's not very good. The three wolf tunic! Imbued with the strength and ferocity of its majestic threefold totem spirit. This is undoubtedly the garb of a powerful shaman. Oh, I was looking at this and reading this like it was that. No, this is just a frilly apron. This is the, chat, this one's the tunic. This one's a frilly apron. I, I think some of you guys may have misread it as well. Double staff. Yeah, that's not something like Cheezle would use. <laughs> that looks like a Cheezle weapon. What's this? So, oh, that's the item I needed. Where's the guard? Oh my god! It's them! It's... I am lineman for the country. 
Well, there was nothing they could do to stop me from just taking a teleporter to leave. Actually. Jolly Belt makes your belly shake like a bowl full of jelly. I'll take it. I don't have any clothes yet, Chad. I need clothes. Hang on, I don't actually want to even summon anything. Just drop these items. Drop it. I'm going to go back in there as a were diggle and kill them all. Kick, punch, it's all in the mind. All right, just don't run. Where are you running? While you're running, they're actually running. They're running from, they're running in fear of me. Because I am the most powerful Diggle. Chat. Yes. Going commando. What's better than a Diggle and invisible Diggle? <laughs> yes. Oh, and it carries over to my human form. Okay, chat. So we can use this right before our form ends so we have time to like wait for it to come back before we get attacked. Ow! Okay, all I need now is permanent diggle form. You guys know what I mean? All I need now is an even... The monster Cree Wailust, the Mountain of the Lones, must be defeated. The artifact Loistad, the Thunderous Sea Dog, must be used on Monolith. Okay. I can handle that, lady. No problem. Is that frogs? Is that frogs? Confiscate those. I'm gonna have to bring those in. That's evidence. I am a. I, everyone knows I am a space lawyer. I study space law. You guys all. You guys know this about me. I'm confiscating that. Uh, I know magical law. I bring magical justice. I've confiscated. I'm confiscating the frogs. It's better like this. They're safer with me. Okay, I destroy. I did the boss fight, and I won. I got a weapon. It's, I don't believe, better than a normal entry-level mace. It actually is. Slightly. A little bit better. Let's just, since we're right at the shop, let's go sell some things quick. And we'll also sell these frogs for 69 Zork mitts. Nice. Chat, nice. Nice. Okay, we're actually done on this whole side of the map. Remember, we're playing on this faster version of the game, so this stuff's a... That's him! Kriwelus, the Mountain of Lones! The shambling abomination is brimming with newfound confidence in Uranium-325. Sorry, 235. This monster has not noticed our presence. Big mistake. Invisible Diggle assassination. Sha! He's going to win. Maybe. But not if... Alright, the rest of them are peaceful and not attacking me. That gives me time... To... Uh... Guess again, pork breath. Huh. All I gotta do is just get away. Go anywhere. Okay, they can't follow me here. Now we eat some steak, and I'll come back stronger. We're gonna come back and finish him off. Don't worry. Right now. Ah! Oh! Now kill the ones that weren't participating in the fight. Nightcap, those are mine. Nightcap, ingots, mine. Disarm that, who cares? I'm invincible. Ah, uh, have I been here before? Wait, there's something I need. Oh, I need to pick this up. And now I need to use it on a monolith. I know what that is. Hang on, let's go do that. You gotta go use that item I just picked up on the monolith over here. One minute chat, this should take but a second. Wrong place. Here we are. All right, so we use the item we just picked up on the monolith, which will give us this Tormentor of Islands uh, tool, which I think is better than what I had, technically. We've gotten two really useless maces in a row. Am I a mace build? I have maces? Is that my build? No, I'm good at throwing weapons. I should get some stuff to throw. I mean, I guess I have the boomerangs, but I haven't needed to throw anything yet. This build is weird. I'm gonna, f I'm gonna take on the- That's it, chat. I'm taking on the robot. Who keeps the metric system down? We do. He and I are in agreement on a lot of topics, but I have to take him down. Open the door. I can kin. I got him. 
Oh yeah, this guy's donezo. Dead. Easy. An easy kill. You guys don't have enough confidence in me. Some of you are like, he's gonna lose. Before you even saw what happened. Oh, a crown thing. This is good. I'm gonna use this. I believe I'm gonna use this right now because I have something worth croming. This jolly belt. Cromed. That gives me one new stat on it. Sagacity. Uh, which is... Uh, it affects mana points. It just gives us more mana. A right leather eye patch. Made from the right leather, not the wrong leather, like the ones they sell on Cannibal Island. Also, it's worn on the right, which looks left when you look in a mirror. It's easy to get your left and right confused. That's why pirates use port and starboard instead of mirrors. With a bit of tinkering, though, you could probably turn it around. I'm taking it. I'm going to sell it later. There was a zombie inside of the coffin. Big mistake for him. We're almost leveled up again, chat, and that's when this Diggle build starts to kick it up a notch, you understand? When we level up one more time, things change. Don't get scared. Try to keep up. Okay? I'm gonna try to open this now. Did it. First try. Now we're just gonna sweep the whole area, kill anything that- Another za another fucking monster zoo, huh? Ho 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 ho. You are gonna regret the day you ever came here. What chance did you ever have? <clears throat> against me! The Diggle! There's another hiding. I didn't get credit for the zoo yet. There's something still alive. It, but I killed them so quickly they didn't register their own demise yet. Where are they hiding? There's a fucking... There's a... There's a... There's a fucking diggle under the ground somewhere hiding. We'll find him. We'll flush him out. Chad, don't worry. Don't you worry. We'll take him down in time. Coin. Guys, it's time. Check it. We're already leveled up to about where we were last time. We're going... We can now chat with our Diggle powers. Lay Diggle eggs. For sustenance. That's right. Never mind, I have to turn back into a Diggle before I can do that. But once I do that, I can lay Diggle eggs for sustenance. I will eat them. It's only weird if I eat them while I'm a Diggle chat. Otherwise, it's just me eating Diggle eggs. You know? And I can do it more. I can do it whenever I so please. Man, this character's strong compared to the last guy. I swear to God. This guy's way stronger than character number one. That fucking loser. This guy could probably already go down to the next floor. And I probably will in a second. Not many reasons not to. We already have a ton of money, too. Open the door! Burr! Hold the door for me, huh? Burr! Won't be long now. A couple more levels and we'll be an archware, Diggle. Then things will finally start looking up for us. We already got some graffiti, didn't we? I believe we already have some graffiti. We might be able to use that. We might. It might be time to go to the wizard zone. No, it isn't. Wait, last time I went there, I got instantly fucking beamed. I don't want to do that yet, but soon. There's only a little bit more floor left to check out here, and then we'll go to the next one. We're close. Just gotta remember to lay diggle eggs whenever I get the chance. For that, for that delicious, delicious. I can make omelets out of them. Chat. We can turn Diggle Eggs into omelets. And perhaps I'll show you in a moment. You're gonna love it. Is that a cone? That's Bang Chin, the cowardly beard. It may make a ridiculous hat, but at least you won't get hit by a car. It's studded with sea salt. I see. I'll be confiscating that in a minute, chat. Don't you worry. They're not allowed to have that. 
They're not legally allowed to hang on to that. That's that's government property. Is that is that B Arthur? They're gone. Man, this character hits like a fucking truck, dude. Booze. Alright, this is like the last stretch of this floor. Grab the rest of the food. Open the door. Kill everything on the inside. More graffiti. That works. I'm probably gonna do some graffiti stuff next. Darlek Puck Gorwa. Oh, wait, that's a... A, not Okay. Got it. God, we're leveling so fast. I honestly, chat, if you end up playing this game, part of me does recommend, at least on your first time through, to play on the faster version because it gives you a lot... You get to, you get to the fun part a lot faster where you can sort of careen through dungeons really quickly. And that means you're spending less time fucking desperately trying to kill one enemy. Even on, like, the hardest difficulty. Like, we've finished this floor. We're ready to move on. Oh. Do I already have this one? Plunfees Gorzin. I do have this one. Alright. Welcome to floor two, chat. This one has mummies now. It's a popular misconception that the creation of a mummy requires days of back-breaking labor and preservatives. A talented necromancer can knock one up with a fresh corpse, a plunger, and a large quantity of toilet paper. This monster has not noticed your presence. Okay. Wait, another egg? Bad wording. <laughs> yeah, I, that's why I like. That's why I slowed down for a second. I was like, wait a minute, is that is that the wording? It was. God, I'm strong. See, what I, all I need now is for the Diggle thing to last forever. All I need now is to is ascend a little bit more. Okay, one of these is the Baron, and that's fine. The other one is Bit Nulso, the producer of loathing. Uh, I was not ready. I don't know if I can fight two of these guys at once, is all. I'm going to back it up to the door. If I'm going to take him on, I can try it here. Okay, transform. And... Acid. Flask. Come to me. Come closer. Okay. We're going to find a... We're going to take a different stairwell. I don't like how those guys are critting me. We're going to take one of the different floor stair stairwells. We'll take a different one. There's others. There's one right here. We'll take this one. This one's more my speed. Wait, no, this one's the one that's a dead end that I can't go through. All right, we'll take this one over here. This one's... This one with the robot's more my speed, you know what I mean? This one, this one here is more my speed. This one just has diggles. These are my people. Sort of. These are, these are like my people. I can... I will happily... Take this room. Zombies. Oh, this is a lot of XP. What was this? Okay. More food. Hello? Something stepped in a real nasty trap, and that spooks me. Because I don't I didn't get to see. Murderous Rutabaga. Also known as the Swedish turnip. Evidently, root vegetables are huge and murderous in Viking lands. This monster has not noticed your presence. Big mistake. Oh, here's the trap. <laughs> uh, what is... Oh, the... It didn't die. Okay. Oh, look! Magical slime! And vodka! I'm gonna drink this... I'm gonna drink the water. I found something in it. I got a plastic ring. I put it in my bag. I think I don't even have rings equipped. I have no gear, guys. I am actually so fucking... Poor. But I got apparently a really good... Gorget. If this doesn't keep those bloody vampires off, nothing will. I just got like a vampire neck plate on. I don't know when I got that. But I have it now. Make a wish, pull the lever. I already did it. Way ahead of you on that one.
We're so close, chat. A little bit more experience. And we'll be at the final power level. Actually, a couple more levels and we're technically at the final power. Well, you get what I mean. Is that... Langerbrom? The Diabolic Sons? Okay. It's probably gonna be a problem. This is all because of that damn pizza. And my... My form has fallen. Uh, what are my options here? I got concussion bombs. Okay, that does a lot of damage. This is what happens when you find a stranger in the Alps. Just give me nine more turns and I'm gonna take you down. Don't you worry about a goddamn thing. Prepare to die. Diggle form! Oh yeah, you never stood a goddamn chance against me. A melee character? Yeah, right. Die. Goodbye! Kill the wizard thing, keep walking. Adventuring pants will sell those. Where's the ghost? The ghost actually, like, they, they fucked off. I was gonna take that ghost down. Ah, uh, should've eaten before I did this. It's fine, I'll have time. Also, I have a gun that I'm gonna use to shoot this skeleton now. In a couple of minutes. Wubba wubba, I'm in the pink today. I'm a troublemaker. Okay. I forgot, I do a decent amount of damage even without being in wear diggle form. That's a level up! My power level is currently 1300! Don't ever forget it, chat! We are getting more powerful. We can now smash through walls. Chat. With our diggle nose. We're officially... The Diggle. Do you understand? We are now officially The Diggle. Ow, 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 queued up moves. They're confusing me. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm no, I'm not gonna be The Diggle anymore in a second if I can't get out of this. This cued, it cued motions and forced me to walk up because it was like, it slowed down when this happened. I need to find a way out of this. They're not doing that much damage. If I just gorged food, I could probably make it to the end of the turn order when my thing activates again. That'll push him back. I believe that killed the mummy. It's not looking good. But we're still alive. But I don't think we'll survive one attack from the enraged Diggle like this. Could I make an omelet? <laughs> I know this sounds crazy. But you can cook in this game. And I'm curious if I could make an omelet. No, I can technically make brimstone. Well, the problem is, the whites are ranged, so if they hit me while I'm running, I'll die. Seven more turns until Diggle form activates again, then I can go invisible. I just have to survive till then. Okay. Do another concussion bomb. It didn't knock him back. Five more turns. And that's a skull I can run by. Four more turns. Three. Ooh. Two. One. Survive one more turn! They still know I'm here. Oh, no. No! I'm alive still! Okay, I have to eat something now. I have to eat right now. And then keep running. So I can start healing. He's cutting me off, this fucking guy. Uh. It's not over till I say it's over, chat. Do you understand me? It's not over until I say it's over. Do you understand me? We have 18 more turns of diggle mode. God, I just wish I had a better fucking wand. If I had a wand, I'd be able to get out of this real easy. Wait, spatial instability infusion. 
after you drink this potion, wherever you go, there you are. <laughs> My brain is melting, but they don't know where I is be. They don't know where I is be do. And that's where it all comes down, you know? Let's heal up. Then we're gonna walk back in there like a king and give them what for. Oh yeah. Hey assholes! Remember me? I remember you! I remember what you did to me! Oh! Yeah, that's right, motherfuckers! Ah! Not much they can do now. Just about the end of the line. He's running. They're running. They're running. I'm not surprised. I'd run too. Vengeance. Vengeance. Easy. Oh, is that a super trap? Okay. How many more turns I have on this? I should probably let these debuffs go away. Because it's really fucking my stats. But it's going to last a while by the looks of things. Let's uh let them tick off here. There we go. There we, there we go. There we go, all cured. Man, that was a close one. That should have been a death. I deserve to die after something like that. The fact I didn't just goes to show how talented of a gamer I am. You know, when push comes to shove, I know what to do to get out of there alive. You know what I mean, chat? You guys should have been real impressed by that play. It, it proves that I'm a gamer. That I survived a move like that. What is this place? Some sort of barrel zone. What is this place? I need to heal. Eat some of these eggs. And the dire sandwich. No one will miss you, says the rutabaga. Oh. Okay, man. Take it easy, I guess. It's fine. There's a lot of just stuff around, huh? How much longer do I have on this? Uh, nine turns. Okay. Fortunately, I'm like invin- These guys are not able to penetrate my defenses, so they're basically nothing to me. So long as I continue to heal at the same time. Yeah, they don't really do enough damage, and I kick their asses. So I'm not too concerned about them. Just take them down nice and, nice and slow like, no problem. And then, in one more level... Is this guy slapping me? Oh, he's slapping me. Alright, I need to transform. There we go. Lay an egg. We need more eggs. Need more food to eat. Eat it. Consume... The eggs. Rex! I actually need to be here. I need to sell things. And also, maybe buy some things. I'm really poor on gear. I could really use some... some items. As a matter of fact, I'm mostly naked. I don't even have shoes. But I can't afford any of these. Nor can I fight him. I cannot fight Brex, so I gotta get out of here for now. Buy something, will ya? Let's buy Brex. It's been a pleasure as always. I can't... I can't afford any of his stuff. We'll be back, Brex. I think it's time to go to the pocket dimension, Chet. We're gonna get much more XP doing pocket zones than we will doing these zones, you know what I mean? Great, more tourists. I should really heal, but I want to clear out this room first. Besides, I've got incredible dodging skills. That was risky. I should not have fought that guy. I should have really... Should have really healed before I fought that guy, considering he wasn't even after me. But, eh, whatever. Let's fight the, uh, let's fight this... Let's fight this evil chest now. There should be a monster in it. 
of considerable power. Bang Sexion, the manager of personal flotation devices. Better hit the deck. This briny behemoth is a bit sensitive about its receding fur line. This monster has not noticed your presence. Big mistake. I thought I was the good guy. No, you aren't. It was always me. From the very beginning. It was all... But, but, but I didn't, but I don't understand. <laughs> but I don't understand. What did, but, but, he crit me. How much did he crit me for? He hit me hard. He hit me for almost half of my health. If I die as a were diggle, I go to diggle hell. One more. I have to, oh, chat. Same settings as last time, going rogue, permadeath, no time to grind, realm of the diggle gods. Three rolls, unarmed combat. I like punching, astrology. When they ask where you're born, you put down Saturn. Perception, that's good. Fungal arts, you grow strange mushrooms and are more resistant to the effects of poison and putrefaction. Battle geology is always really good. You're a ninja. Wait, wait. Unarmed combat, battle geology, ninjutsu, and drunken boxing. Punch guy. This guy should be so fucking strong. Do it. Uh... Names are irrelevant. They don't mean anything if you die. Let's take a look at my skills. All right, so unarmed combat. Who needs weapons? Destroy your enemies with your mighty feet. Small cricket apprentice. Where did you receive your training? Chechnya? Afghanistan? The skill makes you tougher, faster, stronger, better. And your unarmed attacks pierce more. Astrology. Magic dots in the sky shall lead the way to true knowledge. This is a generally non-violent magic. Not that you can't get a little imaginative, of course. We have Radiant Aura. Surrounds you with a halo of light which illuminates the darkness and your inner strength. Those who dare attack you are occasionally met with a blinding flash which stuns. It can only absorb a few hits before the aura dissipates. Perception. Seeing it coming. At least, you'll know what, what, you, what hit you. Improves sight distance, trap finding, actually hitting enemies, loop finding, and occasionally dodging. Chat, this is actually... The game. Chat, here's the thing. All right, this is the thing. Our accuracy is being boosted by this, but with the drunken stance, our accuracy is lowered. So this actually counteracts our accuracy debuff from drunk stance. This is the guy. This is the guy. And we, things that hit us get stunned. You can see very well in the dark. You, this is useful for missing your attacks less and finding loot. Fungal arts, you collect mold, spores, and fungus and plant them among the corpses of your enemies to see what useful things grow out of it. Icky. Mushroom farmer, you collect mold, spores, and fungus. Okay, sometimes this comes in handy, especially, usually it's just weird though. Spores have a chance to automatically be planted when you defeat enemies. Battle geology, we already know this one. Ninjutsu, you're a ninja. You use sweet ninja magic to accomplish roguish goals. What more do you want? Fuck, dude. Whenever I hear ninja, I think about Naruto, and I think about how I used to Naruto run when I was like fucking 10. Bad eight, bad time. Bad time, bad time, bad time back in the day, bad time. Parents had to pull me aside and tell me to stop, and thank God they fucking did. Why would you say that? Chat, there's one thing I think everyone can agree is that it's pretty fun to talk about your embarrassing childhood, okay? Because everyone fucking had one. Sorry. Dude, but you were cringe as fuck when you were a kid. Much like all of us. <laughs> you were cringe. You know? There's nothing wrong with that. Man, dude. I was thinking the other day about like really good fucking soundtracks from like shows and movies and stuff. Fuck, dude. I'm not a big fan 
of that show, but the soundtrack for it, probably one of the best ever. Like, Jane, like, <laughs> honestly, that fucking show had some of the best soundtrack, like, music out there, I think, genuinely, to this day. They nailed that show's music. Fuck. Secret Sword. You have an uncanny ability to never run out of things to throw at people. Also, you're a sneaky mobile kind of guy or girl. Kenochi, I suppose. Okay. How does that work? I can just spawn throwing knives with mana. That's cool. A radiant aura lasts a couple of turns and dissipates. We're going to leave that up. Also cast rock form on me. Okay. Oh, I didn't check the rest of my stuff. Drunken boxing, get drunk, hit stuff, maybe spit fire, everything else is details. Okay. When you drink, you unconsciously start fighting unique, difficult to describe style. Chad, I think we go into drunk boxing hardcore. I think we, I think we drunk box hardcore. I just needed alcohol to drink. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's time. This is actually crazy, chat. So our Plutonic Fist counteracts the loss of power that we get from using Drunken Stance. And we also have the accuracy buff from our other fucking perk with Perception, ha like removing half of the debuff from the accuracy loss on the fucking Drunken Stance. We are quite literally the one. Do you understand? We're gonna, we're gonna just fucking blast through this. Immediately leveled up. Who's shocked? No one. All right. We're going into Kung Fu Chaser. If you follow up a drink with another drink, you start kicking even more ass. It's like your liver and your adrenal glands get together and have a massive party. Sure. Kung Fu Chase. Just when you thought you couldn't drink anymore, you did. It's your enemies, however, that are feeling the pain. Unlike your normal drunken boxing, the state actually requires you to keep being shit-faced while you use it. That's fine. No. Oh, I thought the game crashed. Sometimes this game crashes. All right, chat, so we won't do a bunch of damage on this character just yet, but now we need to start looking for alcohol. Guys, my guy is actually walking in weird directions. Where are you going? I think he just bugged. Okay, yeah, he's fine now. You kept walking up. It was scaring me. All right. So alcohol is now something we will use when the time arises. Without a doubt. Such as right now. We're gonna have to sort of like double level though. We need to invest in two things at the same time currently, Chet. Because even if we kill all these diggles and stuff, we need to go into normal unarmed to boost the damage of the drunken stance as well. So, I have a plan. You just have to have a little bit of faith in me, okay? Just have a little bit of faith. For now, we're just gonna hoard alcohol and kick guys the normal way. Oh wow, we actually don't do much damage at all right now, huh? We gotta be careful. Just be careful. Be fine. This guy can't out kill me, I don't believe. I just gotta be careful because we're not as strong as Diggle form was. Just yet. Just yet. Man, that radiant stance is really good though. That's good. The radiant thing? We wanna keep that up. Alright, get a side quest. Dreadmore's 27th cohort, the magisterial friends must be stopped. Not the friends! Alright, we're gonna have to find them and take them down. Once we level up again, we gotta start taking points in fighting, like the normal fighting. Uh, this one. Throwing buffalo technique. Intense training allows you to shove large herd animals with surprising power. The skill has worldly applications to boot, grants a chance to perform a special knockback attack in melee combat. That is super strong. Uh, but let me check what else I can get. Stagger step. When you participate in combat, you move erratically, often moving into enemies and inadvertently attacking them around as you stumble. That scares me, I'm gonna take that later. We're going to take the throwing buffalo technique. Oh, no. Nope, not even worth it. Giant black rectangles just make you so angry. It started with gold-pressed latanium. This is Stepra, the space hunter of fjords. We're not doing this because it's the fucking water mission thing from White Day. We're just never doing it. Sorry, chat. I'm out. We're not doing that. I'd rather die. 
Oh my god, look at their... Look at that, though. Anyways, throwing buffalo technique! Oh! I, I cut him in half with my foot. Guys, we're gonna end up being like a martial artist from uh, Kenshi soon. Just mark my words, okay? Because we can use this a lot. This is like a six turn thing. This is like every turn will be every fight. Oh! I'm gonna kick things just in half. Watch this. Watch this. Diggles. Oh, kick. They dropped bread for me because I have lucky find on because I, I got perception powers. We can shrink this for a while. Ooh, Grinch Club sandwich. That's really strong. Yo, a good Brax shop too. A good Brax shop. Sell all of it. We'll buy stuff. What do you think it tastes like? What are you talking about? This monster is the commander of Lord Dreadmord's 27th cohort, the Magisterial Friends. This is the boss I was supposed to- oh! What do you think you're doing here, boy? Oh! What chance did you have? Thanks for the stuff. Unlucky formerly living adventurer. This is my treasure now. I'm going to gut you like a Cornish game hen. Okay. That's a wild fucking threat. I just got hit by a sword trap, dude. Giggle, giggle. They're coming. They're coming. Yeah. Ooh. What is this? Nabozfa, the fondler of legs. I'm gonna sell it immediately. I don't need it. I don't use melee weapons. Got the stuff out of my sight. Okay. We still gotta be careful for a couple more levels. We're still trying to... We're still power spiking. You know, we're still bloating. And right now that's an electro blobby, which is more powerful than usual. So I'm gonna take the Grinch sandwich, which will let me heal very quickly. So I can kick these guys safely while I run. And survive this fight. And live another day. Yeah, we just need to level up one more time. Once we get like one more level, I think our melee fighting gets pretty good. Yeah, we start hitting much harder. Once we get a little bit stronger and then we get master of the dragon foot technique in a little bit and we will at that point no longer be you know a pushover we just need some gear we just need some armor just need some things you guys know how this works Siegfried I thought you'd show your face one day but I wasn't sure if you had the guts or not yet let's tango easy Okay, they're surrounding me. Man, I wish I need stronger alcohol. This stuff doesn't feel like it lasts long enough yet. Can we get this over with quickly? I have to wake up at 5 a.m. He's never waking up again, this, this one. It's over for him. I feel like the alcohol needs to last a little bit longer. I gotta find stronger versions. More powerful beverages. Oh! Oh, again! Why is this happening to me? What did I do? Whatever, I cleared the path. Pirates came this way. In consequentia, we have to get, we have to kill Tukrilgrin, the Tsar of Parties, and get his item and put, use that as a mon monolith. It's an inner tube. That's fine. Yeah, guys, not gonna lie. I'm missing where Diggle. This guy is not doing the damage yet. I know he will. Once I get rid of you, the darkness will go away. No, it won't. That's never... It doesn't work like that. Live in forever, darkness. Yes. Potion of invisibility. 
darkness until the end of days! Screwdriver. I'll be selling that. And a bunch of sandwiches. Yeah, we just need we just need a we need an item. We need something basically that boosts our melee damage and saves us. Because right now our gear is terrible. Matter of fact, our gear's been terrible every time. We've gotten sometimes you get lucky and you get like a super legendary really early. We have not been. So does this activate my wizard stance? No, it's gotta be alcohol. Not just We're dead. That's talk real good in the Sarf parties. When was the last time you showered? Don't come after me, man. Don't chase me, man. I'm gonna have to go sicko mode on you if you chase me anymore. Okay, hits really hard and at range, which is a bad scene. Eat the Parmigiano. Oh my God. Okay, we're drinking the, the potion of invisibility and running. I feel like he knows where I am because he's following me at point blank. Okay, that Electro Blobby is sleeping. None of them are attacking me. Everyone here is cool. Everything here is cool. Let's keep it that way. For now. Thank you, Stairway, for saving my life. Thought I forgot about you, huh? Boo! I kicked him back and he healed all the way. I didn't even do any damage. Chat, this is not looking good for, uh, me. Uh, we need to think of a plan. We need a plan. Okay. We could technically... Glyph will be so violently... Okay, hang on. Violently warp to a random location. <laughs> wow. Really fucking warped him. That was good. We're slowly whittling him down, chat. It's only a matter of time. You know, chat. Oh my god. You know, chat. There is a way that we beat him. It's called, okay, Secret Sword. I summon a bunch of kunai. I am a ninja. I can huck those at him at a range, even if he is a ranged enemy. Okay, I just need time. Eat some of these mushrooms. Brief invisibility. I need to learn what these mushrooms all do so I understand them for later. Probably shouldn't be eating all of them though in case they are poison. Okay, I'm gonna go up there, I'm gonna huck it at him. Don't corner me. One damage, huh? One damage? One damage. Sometime if I'm lucky, it's two. I mean, technically, we can do this all day. He can't kill me unless he crits me. And I can keep running downstairs and slowly healing using spacebar. But, uh, it's gonna take me forever. But when we kill him, we'll level up. Drink booze. Chat, honestly, the drunken stance isn't good enough yet. I think we need more. We need more power. There's one other thing I could do, and that's cut the Plutonic Fist and see if just having more accuracy or crit chance. Because we're losing finesse, and that means we have less crit, I believe. If we ditch the fist, we might crit and, like, crit through his high armor. But let me heal up to 30, and then I'll try it. I do have an Infernal Potion, but this might light me on fire. No, we just do more fire damage. He's made out of st Oh, no. Unless we can knock him back right now, we're dead. Yeah, we can't beat this. Yep. For some reason, he moved into the fucking door frame. And, uh, I mean, honestly, that build sort of sucked. Drunken combat's not very good, is it? I was expecting that to be better. And it wasn't at all. Uh, shield bearer, shield guy, Promethean magic, fire damage, piracy, paranormal investigator, tourist, grave digger, and d degree in dungeoneering. Mm. We need sort of a decent mix. 
None of these are good. This one, however. Stabs. Berserker Rage. As you attack, you are, you are yourself attacked. Your Berserk Rage increases your fighting power. Vampirism. You do not heal naturally. You gain no benefit from food, but instead regain your health by killing things and drinking their blood. Also sparkles. That's going to get us killed. Uh, psionics. Mind Probe. Archaeology. Start the game with the Fedora and a generally dashing roguish. We have that. We had that last time. You know what that does. Piracy. You knew it had to be. And Paranormal Investigator. The truth is out there. Some of this is it. This is nothing. Okay. We're gonna die. The odds are very... The odds are very low that we live. But we do have... We do have a sleep move, which gives us an advantage on the vampire skills. Now we also have plundering. Yar, ye plunder all the booty there be, and more that be not till ye plundered, they're so reifying ye avarice as golden rewards to hand. It's being itself not being in question at this point. Yar. Mm, yes. Raise your resistance to magic. The downside, you'll be unable to cast spells, but why should it matter? Magic is a hoax. Okay, that's actually really good. I don't use many spells. My stuff's mostly abilities. It's good. Magic is a hoax, chat. You all can agree, yes. All right. And we always have fucking debuffs that fuck with our magic anyway, so who cares? Hang on, there's one more thing. Berserker Rage. Do it! Do it for Krom! Poor impulse control. When you attack, there's a chance you'll become really angry. This increases your attack abilities. See, that would have been good with melee build before. Knock him out unconscious. Beat the crap out of him with the staff. Just beat the... Just beat the shit out of this guy. Knock him out again. Beat, keep fucking... Hit him in the head. And he's dead. Wow, we barely healed anything with our vampiric thing, huh? Check this guy. Don't get it. Don't get attached to this character. This is a bad scene because Fu doesn't even help us. Matter of fact, I can turn it off on auto loot because we don't need it because we can't heal from it. We don't even heal passively, I think, from standing around. We miss with melee. You need more mana. Need more mana. All I can do is run until I've leveled up and hopefully I get something worth my while. Eh. I don't even crit on many of the melee attacks I do and I only heal one damage per hit. I can't survive like this. We need power. We need gear. Ilflit, the pitiful newt. This uncomfortable. Oh, yes. That'll do us good. And heroic vandalism right away. Okay, here's what we do. We have to get Drinker of the Dead or we die on this character. We need to be able to eat dead bodies, basically. So we're going to take that. And that'll help us a ton. And now we got, I mean, we lucked out. We got another heroic vandalism. That's half a level right away. Okay. Chad, I still think that we can survive this. No one lose confidence yet. We just need... We just need a big W. You know what I mean? Wait, well, I don't want the food. I, I, I turned off auto loot so I wouldn't take food. We just knock guys out. And then get them. As long... Now that we have a real heal that we can use, we should be... Okay. We should be... Kool-Aid! That's a good from... That's a good good. That's good. That's good. We can work with this, chat. Chat, things are looking up for the team. Get excited. Oh, yeah. Ah. Okay. We're going to level up again, and then stuff should start getting better. At that point, stuff should get better. As usually does happen when you... Sunglasses. Oh, yeah. Stuff's getting better. I already own sunglasses. That's B. Arthur. Stuff's getting worse again. Stuff's getting so much fucking worse again, chat. Stuff is so fucking bad is the thing, chat, about this right now. About the current scene. I've always loved you. I don't fucking believe you. 
I need to find a body to eat. This gnome. The gnome. I'll eat the gnome. Okay, hey, I need to eat more. I need more bodies. Where's that? Where did I... Where did I leave another mess? Blobby's over here. Eat him. All right, that's fine. All right, now let's keep fighting B. Arthur. This should level us up. Sleep! I said sleep! Now, die! All right. All right. It's time. Sparkly. You can dazzle your enemies to leave them stunned by your spooky, sparkly vampire glamour. This also saps some of their life force because seriously. Okay, uh, any more damage? When you defend, there's a chance that you'll become really angry. I think we gotta get the Berserker stuff, chat, because it's the only move we have that's doing damage. I think we need to invest in Viking Rage and just get angrier and angrier. I think this is the only way we survive, is by getting angry. It's the only way out of this mess. Because look, when Viking Rage happens, we do more damage. And when they attack us, I get even angrier still. It's the only way we get out of this. I'm positive of it. It happens a lot. And it stacks to double. Is that a tomato? Even though you might think tomato is a vegetable, it's actually a fruit. Not says, not says, I'd tell that to the fucking Supreme Court. You know what I'm saying, chat? Tell that to the Supreme fucking Court of the United States, brother. You understand, brother? Ah, nah. Don't even want to go in there. Do I activate the chest of evil? I do. I believe no. I think the answer is no. Install the ingot grinder. Yes? Chat. The evil monster that come. I have made a terrible mistake. That will cost me everything. We're just gonna run. I saw its outline, I saw its moves, we're running. I don't know if he's after me because he's invisible. We never go north again. Do you understand, chat? Do you understand? We never talk about what happened there chest. I, I can sell this item. <gasps> I just took their fucking... Um, I, they really like Andava the charlatan blocks. This club is essentially a malformed stick. Gnarly. Why? Why is this happening to me? I don't know what I did wrong to deserve this today. It's fine, chat. I'm more powerful than I used to be. And I can eat any... Guys, I actually have, like, defensive moves now. Look, they're running. Look, they're running! The tables have turned! Things are different than they used to be. I'm stronger now. They run now from me. I'm not a pussy. All right? Because I get Berserker Vengeance. And I get, like, counters. Oh, yeah. I don't want that. Why do I keep... I keep instinctively picking up food. Even though I can't eat it on this character. Ow, ow, ow. I need a body to eat now. This body is totally fucked. I can't eat it. There we go. I got it. I got it. We got there. Okay. I'm starting to heal quite a bit, actually. Because I think it's based off of a damage percentage. So I do think I am starting to heal more from these kills. All right, we're gonna be okay, chat. There's a guy in this coffin, probably. We'll take him on. I believe we can. I can't. Can't can't take him on. Made a uh, big mistake coming here. I'm gonna knock him unconscious and run. Maybe eat a snack. Like uh. Oh yeah. Wait. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna spam sleep spells on him until he dies of it. Okay, that's not gonna work. Alright, I gotta find some bodies to eat. Oh, the wizard keys. Property of Montag the Unsinkable, at least the fifth pirate wizard to use the particular name, overcompensating for a deficiency in the wand department. Alright. 
Krog I'll never use. A bunch of enemies in a room that I activated for some fucking reason, despite knowing that I couldn't take them. You mutinous little maggot. We can heal, we can outheal the damage these guys do. And heal from it. So we're okay. For now. God, there's so many enemies that I just can't fight, though. Uh, no. Don't even activate it. Chat, it's not looking good, but remember, just hang in there. This cat's doing it, you know? We're gonna be... We just need a good... We need to find a good staff. Frogs! Look at that! See that? Would stuff be going bad for me if we didn't... If frogs weren't willing to hang out with me like that? Come on. We're gonna be okay. I'm out healing these guys. These guys are weak enough that I'm able to out heal them now. This is an Electro Blobby. I believe he'll win the fight. He's winning. Okay, I got him anyways. We're fine. Man, vampire builds are so fucking hard, dude. I don't know how anyone plays this build. It's like constant micromanagement. I liked Wear Diggle build. That was micromanagement too, but I didn't have to think about the micromanaging. You know, I just felt it, you know? I felt it in my bones. This character, though... Every 10 seconds, I gotta run back and eat some crap. Oh, just a bit more vampire power and we'll be- and we'll be okay. Honestly, what we need is better armor, and then we'll be able to survive the berserker attacks and it won't be a problem anymore. Muchanus Gorba. Alright, let me... Write this down. What? John Gorba. Got it. Acid. Acid. Walking on a trap. Siegfried has become hostile. I don't know where he is, but he's out there, chat. Look at the news. Read the fucking news. This will level us up. If we win. We won. So we level up. Okay. Ancestral body paint. The markings of your ancestors will protect you in battle. Uh, spirit conduit. Problem is these staff upgrades are made for magic. They're not really, they don't give you as many good buffs for damage. Uh, it belongs in the museum. Send an artifact to the giant secret scary government room full of boxes to gain experience equal to its value. That's pretty good early. The earlier you take that, the better it is. But, um... Flip switches, operate doors, open chests, all, all at a distance with your strange new powers. They did this to you for a reason. This means something. Uh, I need more... Transylvation. You transform into a baddie to make your escape. No, none of this stuff really boosts my power. No good options! This build is terrible! This build is terrible! <laughs> I think we take the ancestral body paint. Because that's flat buffs, and that's what we really feel. I feel like we really need buffs, you know? At least that's something. Go all rage. That's what I think we need to do. I don't think we have any other choices. Everything else is so situational. Basically, if we get enough... Oh, there he is. Siegfried. We need a good staff. We just need a staff to drop from something. We need anything that can help us. And all this guy sells is fucking crap. I guess I'll sell some crap to him. Good thing is I don't need food. Really? Good news is I don't ever need any items. Consequentia? Sure. I'll kill- that's a horde of bosses and it looks like- ANOTHER SMALL ZOO! I'm a, I should be able to handle a zoo. Should be able to outheal a zoo. 
with my vampirism attack. Especially since they're going to be giving me tons of stacks of Berserker Rage and Vengeance just by attacking me. It'll just take forever. But I will win. Yeah, the armor seems to have helped. The, the new perk we took, I seem to be better at being alive. You guys know what I mean? Like, I'm not taking as much damage on these guys. Seems like, seems like the spirit armor, the buff that gave me to my defenses, was a good decision. Okay, we got a cloak. Borba, the dread pirate sacrifices. This robe is so out of fashion that only a great magician would wear it. It's studded with latinium. It's drizzled with blood. Well, my clothes have no stats. So even though this isn't necessarily made for my sort of character, I'm going to take it and put it on. Because currently I'm basically naked. Okay, so those boss enemies are all up here. We're going to have to take them down. We're okay. We just need more damage. Frankly, chat. I'm at the point where I'm willing to unequip this shitty staff and just replace it with a better weapon that's not a staff. Like, I feel like I'll just do better using this spear. Yep. Already does more damage. I think we're ditching the concept that we need a staff. You guys know what I mean? It's them. This is the horde. I'll pinch you in the nerve. We're gonna have to take these guys down. Most of them are already dead from, like, just stuff killing them. My yep. <laughs> We won! We got a tome. We can equip that in my offhand. For extra magical damage. Why is my guy walking? Sometimes my character just walks in a direction. It freaks me out. What was up here? Oh, yeah. There was that weird, strange rutabaga monster. I'll see him when he approaches. I don't know where he is, but I will see him if he approacheth. You gotta have the guts to, like, you know, do things with your life, Chad. I can't be scared of that guy forever. Besides, he's not even attacking me most of the time. I don't know what he is doing, but he's not coming after me. I'm not scared of him. I can't be. All right, let's head up here. There was stuff up here I never cleared. Yeah, switching to a better... We're just going to switch to whatever the highest tier weapon is that we can find at any point in time. And just do it. Like, I'm not going to worry about the staff thing because we're not going to level it. All right. Oh, boy. These guys hit so hard. But you know what? We're starting to do better. I think we're getting okay. You called? No. All right. In this game, isn't that really all you need? Well, I mean, certain... I'm pretty sure trees don't really activate your buffs unless you're using the weapon properly made for them. Like, so if you have a staff build, if you're not using a staff, you're not getting the benefits of staff build. But consider I'm not going to level it, it doesn't matter. I only have the initial starter thing, and in this case... The starter weapon I was given was trash. Now, if I got a really good staff, I'd equip it. Because it's really good, and I also technically have it in my build. But, right now, the staff I got was a tier 1 piece of garbage. And this is a tier 3 spear that actually does decent damage. It means I'm not getting fucking totally just owned by everything. Which feels really good to not get totally owned. If I kill this robot, I will win and level up. I'm going for it. You guys ever make a big mistake? I have a plan. He's totally outsmarted me. He's this guy just fucking completely outsmarted me so bad it's embarrassing. How did he get how did he do this to me? Go, just take the trap. They haven't noticed my presence. All right, that white noticed my presence. I had to take the It's not over yet, chat. Stop dodging. Stop dodging. Please don't attack me. That white... 
Okay, he's attacking me. That build sucked too, dude. Chat, that build sucked too. We can do better than that build. That build was bad. We can do better. I want a good build. I'm not doing Thaumite again. I don't want to see that again in my... Ah, yes. Ah, but I don't want vampirism. Vampirism's so bad, dude. I want the bee herder, but not the other ones. Unarmed combat, wand lore. That's okay. Tinkering is terrible and worthless, and I'll never use it. Big game hunter, I can use. Demonologist is okay. Clockwork knight is super not great. And communists is okay. Clockwork knight is like a crafting thing. I have to use crafting at that point. <laughs> we have to make it work. Maybe these naming conventions are making it bad. Maybe they're not helping the build. Guerrilla attack. Popular front to be sneak attacking imperialist then is disappearing before caught. I understand what that means. All right, hang on, let's take a look at my things that I got. An armed thing, this we have to go into immediately and level all the way up. Wand lore, wands are good. So those are fine. Spend time in a garden shed building mechanical devices for the betterment of mankind. Dabbling trappist. You dabble in the construction and disarming of traps. It's amazing you've still got most of your fingers, okay? Big game hunter, trophy collector. Carve trophies for vague grizzly rewards. In other words, you can experience points when killing animals. Okay, that's good. Demonologist, we've already done. Clockwork Knight, you are armed with the latest in modern steam-powered military hardware. Glory to the Empire. Tinkering ability will improve your mechanical attacks. Your close affinity to mechanical technology gives you an eye for salvaging quality parts and scrap metal from slain constructs. Communist, workers unite. Yo, we can get socialized healthcare. And it looks like we can also get a nuke. Okay. That might be pretty good. Okay, so guerrilla attack lets me stun an enemy and then go invisible. Wait, I'm carrying a weapon still? I gotta take this off me. They gave me a sickle. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I, li I like that a lot. Oh, that's Siegfried already. It's over. This build is over. Hang on, not really. If I gorilla attack him and then beat the crap out of him while he's stunned. We don't die today! We have to immediately keep going into the buffalo technique. We have to keep continuing with punch build or we will never survive to get deeper into the dungeon. We keep going into punch build and we pursue punch build like our lives depend on it because it does. There's only one way we get out of this chat. And it's through the fist. Do you understand? Oh yeah, we can eat food again now. Oh, and I also spawned with some incredibly powerful wands. Oh, I need to set that back in my auto loot table. Auto loot, food again. Okay. Property of Sidorium the Blurry, Master of Gravy, rates astronomical. Okay. All right, let's just level up and get the hell out of here. I'm getting sick of looking at these halls. We just need one good character that can ascend past the normal mortal threshold. You guys know what I mean? And it might be this guy, because we're about to give him footwork. Have your right foot in the right place at the right time will make all the difference. Grants a chance to perform a spectacularly unpleasant bone-crushing attack. Yeah, everyone knows the strongest builds in video games are melee monk builds because the devs don't know how to balance for you not having a weapon. Okay? Ever play Cataclysm? Case in point. The second that you take out the variable of weapons that they can balance, the devs of any game get fucking confused as hell because now they have to do math. Now they have to factor in just normal math and devs hate that. So martial arts builds are always either super strong at the beginning and then suck at late game or the other way around. And this one's the latter. 
By the late game, I'm gonna be able to kick guys. Kick entire packs of guys. So fucking good, chat. You'll see. You'll fucking see. I guess I should look at my crafting skills. Even though I hate the idea of it. Apparently, I don't know how to craft anything despite having tinkering skill. I thought I would have some crafting knowledge. But it looks like I do not. Have skill. Okay, here we go. Alright, alright, alright. Now we can see everything I can make with my skill. In every single one of these. Anything in here is worthless, all these weapons and stuff. Oh, I can make it. No. So if I get a parrot... I can use a blacksmithing table to turn it into an X parrot. <laughs> this parrot is no more. It ceased to be. It's expired and gone to meet its maker. This is a late parrot. It's stiff, bereft of life. It's run down the curtain and joined the choir invisible. This is an X parrot. God, Monty Python's so fucking good, Chet. <laughs> Their comedy is like genuinely fucking timeless. It actually makes me angry when people say they don't like Monty Python. My his name is Robert Paulson. It like it like there are many things in this world that make me ira like really angry. It's not even irrational, it's rational anger. That that anger is justified and makes fucking real sense. Imagine saying you don't like Monty Python. You know? Yuck. Don't associate with people like that, chat. They should be shunned. You know what I mean? They should be actually shunned. What's going on, Brax? Nice, nice place. Thought I saw Mjolnir on one of the shelves. We'll be investigating that soon. As soon as I'm done taking care of these guys and leveling up again. More! Grey Heron takes flight! A gale of flesh! Shall blow your opponents away. This skill allows you to perform a special area attack. Chat, we are becoming the warrior. Sha! Things are gonna be a lot different now. We keep going faster. We don't need to loot things. We just need more power. More heroic vandalism. We level up one more time and we'll be so close to the final level. At the final level, we, un we unlock the dragon foot technique. We're only gonna get better. I would go as far as to say we're ready to descend to the second floor before even clearing half of the first floor. This blob guy, Goop, Thou art a beslubbering, ill-composed clack dish. Chick of gods! Behold, chat! He is the slime! Blubbering slime thing. I fear nothing! Sha! Alright, that blob climbed inside of me, but I still won. Oh! Get out of my way! Chat, we are progressing from the second floor onwards. We're not gonna dilly-dally for another goddamn second. Oh, wake up! Wake up, he's confused, doesn't know what happened. Oh, let me remind you what happened. Unleash the spinning crane! Yes, listen to that scream. Things are gonna be different now. Look at them run from me. They're running from me. They're running, cause they're scared. I'd be scared too. If I were fighting the warrior. I'm not wearing clothes. <laughs> you are doomed. No, you! Okay, they countered it, but that's not... <laughs> See, chat? The tables are turning. Faster than you could possibly fucking comprehend the tables are turning. Okay, what can I craft? I thought I could make omelets. I don't have enough egg? Oh, we have enough egg. 
Why have I not learned how to make omelets? I thought I made it with the, the ingot press. Guess I need the recipe still. I thought the recipe was automatic in this game for omelet. Guess I just get it every time because I'm incredibly lucky. Up. Oh. A secret diggle hole. You'll love to see it. Inconsequentia. Bron wa Bourbon Wall, the ambassador of galaxies has been lost. I'll take it on. I'll find it for you. Don't you worry. Is that a gas mask? Uh, I'll sell it. I just use my feet to do everything now, dude. Whoa! God of Trickery Rook. Pray it. Give me a power. Blessing of Rook. You feel fluid and malleable, dodging easily. Oh, baby! Occasionally, you can reflexively become so small of a target that you are rendered invisible. Yes. Yes. Oh, I need to sell some stuff to you, actually. Yes. Chat, this is looking up. Things are looking up. Hell, I'd be dare- I dare go to the third floor. Uh, what the fuck is that? Valajotsby, the lover of donuts. The fruit treants have heard every possible variant of an apple a day joke. They do not find them amusing. They're trying to kill you. Noted. Will you be my Valentine? He asked that and then attacked me, and my character reflexively co uh, combos anything that attacks him. So he grabbed the rutabaga's arm and broke it, and then snapped his neck in a reflex. Let's see if I can take a boss. The answer looks like yes, my counters are immaculate. Chad, he can't even hit me, I'm just dodging every attack! Okay, hit me once there, but that was actually the zombie that hit me. It won't be enough to stop me from leveling again. Stone Soul, even more countering. Yes. Chat, they're running out of time. I level up one more time and it's over. The tiger kick attack, chat! They're running out of time to stop me! They're running out of time! Toady! I'm not surprised you'd show your face around here. You an only child? It shows, he said, and then he died. What does that fucking mean, Toady? Man, that's a fucking, that's a pretty crazy insult. That's actually, that's a pretty good one. Just ask the person if they're an only child it fucking shows. <laughs> wow, that's pretty, that's pretty spicy, actually. Because so, it's casual. It's a casual statement to them. Wow. That, that sticks. You think about that. Oh, that's double graffiti. Corba from Gua. Hang on, I have to fucking write these new ones down. Corpba from Magua. Okay. Corpba from Magua. Wuzan Lech Magek. Wuzan Lech Magek. <laughs> All right. Keep those memorized, chat. You don't want to have to write them down like me. Uh... Oh, they're shooting things at me. That's good. I can't reach them. Oh, nice. I stepped on a trap. <laughs> uh, I need to eat something. Stop that. Right now. Only warning. Okay. The Tesla thing just did stuff to me. It's actually just a thing on my character. Do I have anything that's ranged? The motions of these tiny spheres reflects the sky somewhere far above. What's your sign? Do any of these wands do damage to things? I guess I'll walk up and kill them, after all. They're like barricaded in. I am the chosen one. I can't get these two. I gotta go around them. Ooh. 
I can't do anything about them. We're leaving. We'll lockpick. Lockpick box. We eat those. It gives us eight lockpicks. All right. I believe... Yeah, I can't go this way. I can't get those two. I'm just going to ignore them. And hopefully, they'll leave me alone. It says there's an item on the other side of this wall. I'm going to try to circle around to it. Spin attack. Get fucking owned. An awful lot of things in here. We're critting, chat. Do you hear that? Do you hear all the crits happening? The score is... The score, we're finally evening it. After all this time. Iron Dread Mom. The embrace of this medieval torture device is only slightly worse than a hug from the real Dread Mom. Ooh! New hat. Plague Doctor's Mask. That's better than mine. More resistances. We're so close to leveling, chat. We're so fucking close. And there's more graffiti. We're not actually going to write this one down, because let's be honest, I'm never going to get to all three of them before my character dies a horrible death again. So let's not even bother. Why are you such a weenie? Chad, he's not looking at the character, nor is he looking at me. It looks like he's looking past me and the character, and he's looking at you when he said that. It looked like he was looking at you when he asked that question. You know what I mean? Like he was calling you a weenie. You. Wait, I leveled up again. Shadow's time. Master of the dragon foot technique. At this level, the student has become the master. Your attacks are imbued with celestial energy. We are t we are ready. We are ready. The time is now. We are a maximum level melee combatant. Let's see if this Diggle can take it. He can't. We hit for 20 with our foot. 20 is our casual damage, just attacking normal without buffs on. Oh yeah. It's time to continue descending. Actually, it says there's more over here. Hang on. Ignore that. How the hell? It says that there's a... It says there's like a something here. You see this right here? There's an item. I can't get to it because those stupid mummies are blocking the way. We're going deeper. Could that be? Actual shoes? I haven't been wearing shoes. Oh my god, we hit so fucking hard right now. I mean, they also hit me hard, but I hit harder. And I'm only going to get stronger because I'm currently also basically naked. So imagine how strong I'm going to be once I'm not naked. You know? Don't wake those robots up. Okay, they woke up. That's fine though. I'm much stronger than I used to be. I hit for 12 a hit. They, they're not as strong as they used to be. I'm just as terrible and powerful. We just eat something while they're approaching and kick this toupee in the face for a gigantic combo! Fucking die, man! Fucking die! Run! Get scared! Things are different than they used to be! Big slam! Grey Heron strike! Yes. Oh, what's this? A pack of robots? Big kick. Okay, they're actually going to win if they all counter me. I'm countering some of them, though. I am... Currently, they're getting the business more than I am. Oh, yeah. I'm giving them the business. We got them. Oh. Oh. So it comes to this. Bye. I win. No one can defeat my run move, chat. Remember that. No one can beat the run move. And now I go back down there. Now I've eaten some pears and various fruit. And then I kill him. What chance did he have at all? Let's go. Come on. Loser POV. Would a loser go to the pocket realm? After killing Cobro? Cobro is very dangerous. 
Would a loser be able to easily kill a Cobra like that? I think not. Would a loser approach a Jin and a... Actually, I don't really want to fight these two. They're, they look sort of fucked up. Uh, would a loser approach more like entry-level animal enemies? Well, poorly cloned hero. A clone! It's not a very good resemblance. It's all goopy and the eyebrows are too small. This monster has not noticed your presence. I'm going to kill the crab. For XP. He'll give me extra because of that. My, my big game hunter perk. All right. Kick this guy too. Mega combo. Even more XP. Break all the eggs. Out of them will come Cobros. Which will give me yet more XP. Yeah, I need food, dude. That's what I'm... I really need food. Diggle legs can't sustain me forever. This isn't a... This isn't a balanced diet. Man, these guys give me a lot of XP, though. Chad, we're gonna level up again in a minute. And you know what happens then? Wait, what are these giving? Omelets! I'll take omelets. I'll take some fucking omelets. Don't mind if I do. Let's take one and kill these two guys now. They can't stop us now. Oh my god, dude. They never stood a fucking chance, these guys. Yeah, right. Watch it. I'm countering you. Ooh. Never stood a fucking chance. Never should have come here. A rune word of ice. Take it. We can throw that at someone for big damage. Two unfriendly AI. Release them. We'll fight them in pitched combat. So close to leveling again. And once we level again, chat. I actually don't know what I'll do. The, 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 when you go all into one skill, that's usually when your power just spikes like crazy. Like, these guys can't do anything to me right now. They're just trying to run. Is this a crom room? I'll take a crom room. See, what sucks is that there's not many animals on this floor, and that means I don't get much XP from killing these guys currently. Because I, I get a bonus from animals. These guys, these guys don't really do it. Wow, lots of... Awful lot of robots, and they actually hit sort of hard. Okay, I think it's time we run. I think we're gonna run from them. In a million years! Okay, ow. Okay, I'm gonna run, but I, I ain't an, amul an omelet, so when I... What was the error? What was the error?! It's fine, chat. The game auto-saves, technically. But I gotta restart it. Sometimes that just, sometimes that's just red more for you. Sometimes it's crashes. So just gotta give it a second and we'll be back in. Don't you worry. We're gonna fucking take, take those guys down. That was fucking terrifying. It was probably awkward for you guys because it switches like perspectives and like glitches out for a second because it's like a weird windowed resolution this game. Hopefully the mods are still loaded in. I didn't check right there. Load. None of these are, which one of these is mine? I, I played a lot of this game. No. My boy. At least my guy. This is some this is some fucking idiot. Hang on. It might be because the mods didn't load. Well, no, they should have because I see them. Did it delete my guy? That'd be really fucking sad after all this. Hang on. Let me restart the game. Make sure mods are enabled and cut the feed while I do it. That'd be really sad if that actually deleted my save. Hold up, chat. Permadeath only saves on quit, probably? Well, that would be real fucking... Oh, no, none of the mods were enabled. This might fix itself, because none of them were enabled. All my mods were gone. It might... Our save might still be in the ether. Just give me a second to turn all these back on. Okay. I have hope. Uh, 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 no. 
It's gone. It's gone. That's sad that that happened. Because that was the last run of the night. <laughs> it's been four hours. I was going to wrap up after that run. And now it's gone. They're dead. Well, chat, sometimes that it be do how it is sometimes. Sad ending. I didn't want to go any longer. That's the problem. I didn't. I didn't. This game, this game can take a while. I was, re I was prepared to do that one. And if it runs too long, then I have to stop and I wasn't going to do a second session. I wanted to run it as far as I could, but that's just how it is. We'll come back to this game again sometime, just like we did last time when we came back to it again. This is like a once every like six months game I'll run in like some other roguelikes and just fucking like play it for a while. It's a lot of fun. I recommend it. If you've never played this game, it's really easy to pick up. It's a, it's a very addictive, super easy to pick up roguelike. Compared to a lot of other stuff out there, this one is one of the easiest to just like pick up and play, I think, out there for like RPG style. It's... It's aged really well for how old it is now. Well, it came out in like 2012. It's uh, it's just one of those RPG things I come back to like once a, once every once in a while. I mean, you guys could tell from how many characters I had there. Just over the t over like the months of just playing it casually on my own, and I just pick it up and play it. Sometimes it's good to have a game like that, you know. Well, how much does this game even go for on Steam? Five dollars. That game goes for five dollars. I don't usually t like say go buy a game, but you're an idiot if you don't buy. <laughs> that's a that's a game with a ton of content and with the DLC total. It's seven dollars. You can buy it for seven dollars with all the DLC, for an even bigger sale. That's with all the DLC, seven dollars for everything. It's uh, pretty good, and it's the only game that's ever coming out of this dev team because I'm pretty sure they shut down. That, this was the only thing they made, and I don't think Dungeons & Dreadmore sold very well. Because, uh, they never made another game. Wah. What about Tales of Magial? Chet, you wanna know the problem with Tales of Magial? I've played the shit out of that game, too. Not as much as this. My problem with Tales is that, one, I would never stream it. The issue with Tales of Magial is that I put 24 hours into the game. Like, exactly 24 hours. It's a massive amount of time invested. And it is... It's one of those games where you want to play it in permadeath. But there's so many variables of shit that can kill you in it. And it baits you into getting lazy simultaneously. To the point where eventually you are... Walking after like playing for eight hours and you instantly explode and die and lose all your progress Like it, it's got that path of exile elite enemies sometimes have crazy modifiers that end all of your fun and It just It just doesn't It doesn't work on a stream like that. There's nothing fun about trying to like it's more of a math game than an RPG like you're, you're more of staring at numbers on a screen and trying to figure out exactly what gets you over that like hump to killing the enemy properly PoE is kind of poop wrong wrong that's wrong that's a big that's a big incorrect from me I do that and instantly die in CDDA I think CDDA has one of the best at least when you use a tile set one of the best, this is going to kill you visually games out there. You see something with big fucking teeth and it's got glowing eyes. You say, oh, well, <laughs> I'm running. And you run. Like, you know already just by looking at it. Like, you say, oh, that's not happening. I've been eyeballing Cataclysm for a stream again. I'm debating whether or not I want to do it on Bright Nights or try the base real branch again and like try, give the pocket system another try see if I mesh with it better now but um yeah I've been I've, I've been sort of hungering to give it another go
Have you tried Caves of Cud? I'm not ever streaming Caves of Cud. Uh, not because I dislike it. it. Caves of Cud is so... Just, it's so much shit happening. I don't know. I don't like it as... Cataclysm is a lot about, like, adventure. And, like, exploration. And Caves of Cud is a lot... Is a lot... It doesn't feel as... It feels a lot more grindy. And... It feels like I'm not rewarded as much for exploration in that game as I am in Cataclysm, where sometimes exploring can mean finding an item that totally changes the entire way I play the game for the next, like, eight hours to, like, 20 hours to forever. Like, chat, you guys remember when I found an atomic lamp literally in, like, the second building I looted on my first real playthrough? Remember? I just turned a corner and found an atomic lamp and it completely changed everything. I was able to like properly switch to a nocturnal character because I could see at night, like all the time. Cause there, I didn't have to start fires. So I, I saved a ton of time doing that. Finding like an atom pot changes everything too. You don't have to get fire and shit to cook shit like that. You don't need that stuff anymore. You have an atom pot, stuff like that. You know, I think you'll hate video games again sometime soon. Maybe tomorrow when I'm streaming again. And I think in the evening, me and Kraken are doing a movie night, movie game night thing. I gave him a list of some games I played in my childhood. I don't know which one he wanted to pick, but I, I gave him a list of the ones I had and told him it was in his court. I put in like some Buzz Lightyear PS1 game that was cursed as fuck is in there. I don't remember. I put in Ratatouille. I played that when I was a kid on the PC. I could never beat the first level. Which was embarrassing because I believe I was fairly old at that point. I put in Madagascar, a PS2 game. I didn't play that game a ton, but my sister did. And would rent it over and over again from Blockbuster, so it must have been okay. I also put in Jaws Unleashed. Which if I don't if we don't do that, I'm gonna end up doing that. <laughs> that game looks fucking funny. Oh, yeah. Harry Potter 3 was my jam. That was the last good one. Harry Potter Prisoner of Azkaban on the PC, PS3 or 2 was the last good Harry Potter game before they started dumping all over the franchise with the games. They turned, like, Goblet of Fire into, like, a fucking top-down shooter. Yuck. Actually gross as shit. <laughs> Yo! Palamix, thanks for the dollar. Thank you very much. Uh, Lemon Bastard, thanks for the five dollars. Never caught you live before. Probably won't again so high. Hi. Dagnardio, thanks for the gifted sub. Two gifted subs. Mirin, uh, 14915, thanks for the ten gifted subs. I appreciate it, Mirin. Really fucking nice of you. Awfully kind. Awfully kind. Thank you. Parker177, thanks for the 1500 bits. I sponsor this stream, Smile. Thanks. Thanks, sponsor. Minotu 799 thanks for the five. Gifted as well. I appreciate it. And chat, as always, um, the individual subscriptions I receive and resubs are always staggeringly large amounts. So since I genuinely just don't have the uh, juice in me, usually by the end of a stream, to get through all of them, thank you to all of you who donated and resubscribed and subscribed. I appreciate it. It's real kind of you. To continue giving me your money. Tomato Ruthless Businessman Gaming. I'm gonna use it to buy a something that isn't Taco Bell tonight, I think. The money. And tomorrow, I'll be back at 4 p.m. And we'll probably stream up to like 9. Something like a 5 hour stream, see what I can do. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. I'm still eyeing up some things. I'm eyeing up some games, but I'm not sure if I'm ready to do them yet. Like, I want to do... I want to do, uh... Fucking... God, I got... Guys, I bought Nancy Drew Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. It's on my Steam account, but it doesn't launch on Steam, so I was gonna look into if GOG has a version that runs better. Because it looks like it does not work at all on my computer. Like, I've done everything, and it will not launch properly. Like, I've, I've done everything, and it won't launch. So I might have to, like, actually emulate 
I might have to do like an emulation thing on an older version of Windows to get Nancy Drew, Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake, the only one with quite literally many, like dozens of different ways Nancy actually fucking dies. I don't know why they made this one so metal, but she actually dies many times. And like, there's newspaper articles that appear saying that she was gruesomely mutilated and shit. Like, I don't know what the fuck they were doing. It's like metal. But yeah, I'm eyeballing that. I'm still working on the XCOM thing. I don't feel comfortable streaming it yet. I still want to learn a little bit more. Um, also, going to be eternally on the edge of streaming Enderall forever. Because I just, I always got the hunger for more open world RPGs. I'm also eyeballing Green Hell again. They've apparently put out a new expansion for Green Hell with a new story. The first part of it. Might be going back to Green Hell. On a new standalone story. Because I loved Green Hell. That was like one of my favorite survival games I'd played recently. So I'm eyeballing that as well. And I'm also... Eyeballing playing a game that I've been putting off for a while. It's another... Here's the thing. It's another game in the same vein of... Uh, Generation Zero. It's a somewhat well-received survival open world game called desolate that was like based and obviously inspired by stalker it was not received very well at the time but it's received somewhat of a following i'm thinking of checking it out maybe with someone in co-op maybe scum let's be honest scum was a gimmick game no one plays scum i wouldn't play scum in a thousand fucking years scum was a joke I was thinking, maybe I was thinking of Sark playing it. Sark played it. Sark's the reason it's on my radar. Because I saw him playing it. But uh, yeah, I'm not... It's on the radar. I want, I'm want. i going to probably check it out off stream and get a better idea of if it's something I want to do. But as always, if you have recommendations for games, um, unless it's something fucking stupid that you know I'm not allowed to stream on Twitch or like... Like... Fucking... You know exactly what I'm not going to play. Alright, you know. Don't recommend stupid shit that you know I would never play in a million years. Like, I don't want to see, like, dead or alive beach volleyball. I'm not even, like, don't even post it as a joke because it's annoying. All right? I'm not going to play stuff like that. Recommend good stuff. Most of the time, the stuff I play is recommendations from Jet. So, always feel free, even if someone's recommended it before. Even if you think someone's recommended it, recommend it anyways, because sometimes I decide if I'm going to play a game based on how many recommendations it does have in the Discord total. You know? So, don't hesitate. To post your recommendations. Unless it's like a fucking 80 hour RPG, please. <laughs> I don't have time to play super RPGs anymore. Anyways, chat, I'm out of here. Thanks for all the donations and subscriptions and resubscriptions and gifted subs and bits. I, as always, appreciate it. I'll be back tomorrow at 4 p.m. ish for something. Maybe we'll do tabs. We put that off long enough after the cursed thing and no one can prove I ever played it at all. So maybe we'll do tabs. Maybe we'll do the tabs thing that I missed last time. Perhaps. Perhaps. 4 p.m. See you then. Bye-bye.